What is up? What is up? What is up, y'all? It's your boy, Casual Truck, back again with another live. This is the first time that we did two lives in a row, guys. Okay, our second live for the night is our podcast with our international duo reactors, Emmy and Tori of Mori Mori Entertainment. Now, before we start, I want to uh, get people coming in for two minutes. All right, so that we are ready and you'll see the introduction. All right, so I will do some shout outs real quick. Hello, Sasa. How are you doing? I hope you guys hear me loud and clear. Ed Hell Ponciano. Wait lang tayo mga cops. Well, guess what? We're here now. We are starting. Rika May Publico. Oh, I like that last name. Publico. All right. Good Eve, Kuya Chucks. Good Eve din sayo. RR is here as well. Magandang gabi po ulit. Berlin Joyce is here. Magandang gabi ulit. Moonchild, dami ganap. Yes, it, it, there is. There, there are many ganaps. Aija Ultima is here as well. Shout out to you, Aija Ultima. I love you, my brother. Vincent John Garochi. Kuze is here again. And Migo, a bit late er, earlier, but it's fine. You're not late this time. I love you, brother. Shout out to Daniela Join. Manifacto, uh, uh, Ryan Laxon, MO -E OFW. Shout out to OFW fans watching right now. You guys are the best. 18 Sakalam, John Espena, Khan Bautista, JV Lapla, Hairplay. Is your hair still wrong? long? Man, I love your hair. <laughs> All right, AD, shout out to you. Um, who else? Who else? Mebet Sasedon, Sasa, Verna Ernesto, Julie. Oh, the chat has gone crazy suddenly. Tams TV is here, always present in the podcast. Maeve is here. Kururin. Miss La Late Bloomer is here as well. Elea Bunon. Queenie. Lisbeth. Louis Hermoso. Asa is here too. King Kang Prutas is here. King Kang Pintas. Kang Pintas is here. Asa. Christina Cassandra. KC. Elea Bunan, Dennis J is here. Mori Mori and Chuck, love you three for loving the Kings. Absolutely. All right. Not late. Faith Lanta, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Okay, you guys are the best. I think that's about everybody. How long have you been live? Three minutes. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get things rolling. So prefer prepare to be shocked because we are gonna get to know the story of these amazing two people right here because their story is definitely something else guys prepared to be inspired as well prepared to be encouraged and i will not i will not wait around the bush any longer please welcome our guest for tonight emmy and tori from mori mori entertainment here we go <laughs> How are you girls doing? Good. Yeah, good. Good, good. Nervous. So it's still uh, nervous? Are we? Well, you shouldn't be because I am. I might be more nervous than you are. <laughs> <laughs> but have you had your breakfast? I think it's still morning where you are now. No, th this is breakfast. Monster. <laughs> Monster. I love Monster, man. You a <laughs> caffeine <laughs> freak as well? <laughs> I love you, caffeine, man. Yes. Um, all right are dif different different ones but yeah they definitely are awesome i love coffee myself so um okay no yes. breakfast just yet <laughs> <laughs> this monster all right so i want people to get to know you guys and uh guys by the way before we start the uh we, we get things rolling if you are not yet subscribed to mori mori please do they make awesome sb19 reaction videos and other things music related guys okay so um these are one of the passionate people I've, I've met so far and i just love these two and they are even planning to go to the philippines soon so yeah. exciting exciting Very exciting. <laughs> all right so i have uh, put in a poll for the audience to answer and uh, 142 people have already answered so my first question to them is that um tori has five blank so I, I gave them three choices so five dogs cats or snakes so majority of people 66 percent answered dogs so tori can you tell us what is the answer it's cats <laughs> i'm actually really <laughs> terrified of snakes <laughs> <laughs> i just 
for the record, I just put it there randomly to confuse them. But uh, <laughs> okay, snakes are scary. I'm not scared of them. My wife is, but yeah, they are dangerous for sure. So, so five cats. What are their names? So I have two male cats. Uh, I have Momo and Panic, and then I have a calico cat named Patches. Uh, that's Misfit Cleo, my one-eyed kitty cat. And then I have a three-legged cat named Miracle. Wow, that's just amazing, man. Um, let me just show them here. This is Miracle, right? Yes. <laughs> man, that is so... Oh my god. You're Thank so you so fun. much for for doing, for doing this. Like, sh Wow. He doesn't even have the... It's like he the, the leg doesn't really exist. I mean, exactly. wow, that's just... Mm -hmm. Wow, that's just a, um, an amazing act for you to do, and uh, that's spoiled. just so. <laughs> They're spoiled. Okay. <laughs> Who's this? That's Momo, my youngest Aww, cat. Really, He's really a cute. Troublemaker. Troublemaker, huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. And who is this? That is Panic. Before I got Momo, so he is my Chunkalunka mama's boy. Okay, <laughs> I love the name Panic. So badass sounding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, how about and this one? Patches. She's very prissy and adorable. She's very sweet. Oh man, some really nice group of, of, of you know pets you got there, and mm -hmm. it's so amazing to see because uh, you tend to adopt the uh, pets or uh, the cats that are actually in need of care, mm -hmm. right? So. Yeah. How, how can you tell us a little bit of story about how you found some of them um, like, um did you, you know how, how did you come across and decide of you know taking them in so patches an old co-worker gave me um because my ex kept two kittens of mine that a friend of mine gave me who recently well not recently a few years ago passed away so she gave me patches a uh, miracle I, a customer at my former job, uh, found her on the side of the road, thought that she was, you know, paralyzed, but couldn't keep her. I took her in. Uh, she helped me deal with a lot of depression, anxiety type things. And eventually I did have to get her leg amputated. So, oh. but she was a kitten and she bounced right back. She's very clingy wow. to me. She has to be, you can ask her. She always has to be like on me, next to me, something. You know? Um, and then I felt bad because she was my only handicapped cat at that time. And you know, the other cats looked at her, I felt like a little differently. So I adopted another one that was special. <laughs> That's where I got Miss right. Cleo. I was like, it's okay to be different. Wow, I mean, yeah, I, that's just an amazing story right there because uh, taking care of cats is not easy. I mean, it, it takes patience, it takes uh, some dedication because we had cats and it's it's really not easy. And I just commend you for doing doing this, you know. Yeah. So, um, what you said about your your cats helping you with depression it's absolutely facts right there. Um, they can be an extension of who you are, and they there's someone you can actually talk to you know and uh it makes you feel better at times after talking to your pet it, they're they're your best friend to be honest so they are. Mm -hmm. that's just an awesome thing to hear from you so okay and um so all of them are still there in your house right now yep mm -hmm. that is so amazing what do they normally eat like i'm just curious um. <laughs> Dry cat food for the most part. Sometimes they'll eat wet cat food if they want like a little treat. But okay. they'll eat whatever. Panic, which is my chunky cat, he'll eat anything. Whether it's like a hamburger, avocado, <laughs> lettuce. Okay. <He's> not picky. <laughs> I love that. Like, well, the cats here in the Philippines, most of them are used to eating leftovers, even bones. So <laughs> it's just how it is here. And uh, yeah, um, really cool. Thank you for sharing that. So, okay. I have also asked another Paul a second one. This one is about <laughs> Emmy this time. So Emmy, let's see here. Let me just go in and uh, share this one here. I so Emmy like has, sorry, go ahead. I feel like not a lot of people are going to know this because Shippo's quite new. 
Um, <laughs> okay. Most people know my dog Wasabi. <laughs> so. Oh. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay, so I, I my question here is Emmy has a wild animal pet named Shippo. He is a blank. So I gave I gave three choices: squirrel, <laughs> skunk, or a rock raccoon. Oh, so yeah, okay, the, it's actually the, the it's a good fight between the squirrel and raccoon, <laughs> but um, the squirrel is actually winning. So mm -hmm. let me. Let's go ahead and reveal the answer here. Can you tell us what's the answer? Um, Shippo is a raccoon. Um, All right. Yeah. He's a cute little okay. guy. Okay. <laughs> so how how did you come across Shippo? Um. Well, my sister left for work one morning, and she saw like a raccoon out front, like curled up in front of the bushes, and mm -hmm. she like came home and showed me like a picture of him later. I was like, oh, that's cute. And then later that day, like around like five or six, I happened to go out back and there was a raccoon. I was like, oh, I'm gonna feed it. Cause you know, that's just me as a person. So I went inside, like I Googled what do raccoons eat? And I saw that they like grapes and fruit. So I went inside and corn. So I got some grapes and corn and I went out and I just started like rolling grapes to him. And then he came closer and closer. Finally, he started eating out of my hand, and I was petting him, and yeah. I named him Shippo after uh, Inuasha. Wow, that's just, that's amazing, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm trying to play the, the, your interaction with Shippo here. It's not <laughs> playing for some reason. Okay, this is the first time it didn't happen, but uh, man, I'm gonna show you what's, uh, who, Sh who Shippo is, like uh, how he exactly looks like, because it's a really nice video I got here. So just give me a few <laughs> seconds, guys. While I uh, do this, uh, give me a few sec here. All right, here we go. Um, I think this should be good. Hmm. Okay, do you guys see it? <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> improvise here. <laughs> okay, so here's Shippo, guys. Such an adorable thing. I know. What is he eating here? And like he was so gentle when he was taking them out of my hands and like they can't really see that well during the day so like he was feeling around with his little paws and i went to move my hand back and his paws just stayed on my hand i was like wow you're just so cute <laughs> <laughs> oh man he lives under our one of our garages out back wow yeah he does and he still bit. like comes back like he recognizes you yeah he comes back um i don't feed him too often just because he is a wild animal so like once right. a week, I'll give him like some grapes. I actually thought he had been hit by a car the next day. And um, luckily he wasn't. So I feed him like once a week, give or take. Just so right. he doesn't start to rely on me too much. Oh man, that's so adorable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so awesome. It's the first, I have, I, we don't have, uh, we don't have raccoons here in the Philippines. So oh, no. it's so fascinating to see one, <laughs> but I've seen one in video, but yeah. Someone, inter a raccoon is interacting with, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a person right here. It's really cool. And he looks fine. Like, he's not even panicking. No. Right? The only time well. he really started to, like, get a little agitated was when other people would come, like, outside of my house. So, like, my niece came out to see him. And as soon as he saw her, he was like... <laughs> and I was like... Hey, oh. <laughs> but, yeah. Right. Cool. Okay. That's really interesting to see. So, okay. Um, let me go ahead and do this. Give me a few sec, guys. Hmm. Okay. So, um, aside from uh, raccoons, do you have any other pets, uh, Emmy? I personally have a dog named Wasabi. He's a fox terrier. And then in my house, we have a German Shepherd named Outlaw. We have two pugs, one named Baby, whose name used to be Miss Piggy, but everyone just calls it Baby. Um, another pug named Milo. And then we have a cat named Fang, who's all black. And then we have um, my sister's dog, whose name is Gus Gus. Wow, that's a lot of pets. You guys are really for parents and uh, yeah. Most of the time, when you meet fur parent people, they are they are caring one of the most caring people in the world. And uh, man, I'm just so 
so fascinated by that and uh yeah i'm so happy that you know i met you guys and you <laughs> are doing this <laughs> so cool um i could have sworn i have a picture of fang i actually found it it's right here let me just flex him real quick here give me a few sec so this is uh this is fang guys let me just uh grab that real quick here where are you fang hmm oh here we go he actually acts right like here dog. he does okay yeah. why how do you say so um he doesn't have a litter box he goes outside to use the bathroom and um he doesn't really meow at all he'll just interesting yeah so okay that's definitely something mm -hmm. all right <laughs> Okay, so I have also asked our audience here another question, another poll. So let me just uh, share that real quick here. So the next question is, Mori Mori Entertainment was formed because Emmy and Tori are blank. So uh, the choices are between sisters, high school friends, and K-pop fans. So uh, guys, can you uh, rem uh, reveal? What's the answer to this? So it, it's a little complicated. Um, <laughs> we knew each other in high school, but we kind of ran in different circles. So I wouldn't say we were like friends, friends, friends. We just knew each other. We knew names. of each other. Yeah. Um, okay. But we actually got close two, two years ago, almost, mm -hmm. um, because I wanted to go to a one team concert, which is a Korean boy group. And I made a random Facebook post asking if anyone wanted to go, knowing no one probably would. And Tori responded, it's like, yes, I want to go. And then after the, it was just like immediate hit it off. Same goal, same plans. So yeah. yeah, she said that she normally listens to music on a long car ride. Mm -hmm. But honestly, we just chatted the whole four hours to New York. Yep. No wow. music or nothing, really. Mm -hmm. Just talking. My throat was hurting by the time we got there. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, that's so. That's really interesting. So you are K-pop fans, and that's what you brought. What brought you together, basically? You yep. knew each other uh, back in high school, but you weren't really close. You just knew exa each other existed. Yeah. <laughs> All that's right. Not so bad, but yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's see here. I, I like the, <laughs> okay so pretty much in a way you are all of those choices pretty much honest, yes. right? <laughs> right so uh, okay that's very very interesting so i want to um flex you guys and uh show some of your talents so um first uh, did you know guys that emmy is actually a painter so let me show you some of her works all right so uh let's see here where, where, where is it <laughs> hmm. give me a few sec okay here we go a few more seconds guys <laughs> sorry about that it's okay sounds like us yeah. All the time, we're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, they are nice. Why are you so nervous? Your paintings are nice. <laughs> I don't know. I like them. Alright. So, one of the paintings is this one. So... <laughs> Wow, I actually like it. I mean, it's yeah. something. It's it looks expensive, to be honest. Right. <laughs> so, can you tell us about this painting? Like, how how did it end up like this? Like, yeah. so um, I paint with acrylics, which is just one type of paint. Um, and I did this doing like the pour technique, which has been like really popular lately. And I was just curious to try it. I had some leftover paint from another painting that I was doing. Um, and I was like, you know what, I'm just throw these in a cup and pour it on here and see what happens. Cause I had like a smaller canvas. So I was like, I'm just gonna see. And I tried it and I okay. call it molten lava. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, that's a really cool name, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, how about this painting? Oh, uh, that was the first painting I painted in a long time. So it was on a small canvas, and I took inspiration. Yeah, it's actually right here. Let's see. But um, I took oh, inspiration. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you can see how small it is. But um, I took inspiration from like a YouTube video because it had been so long and I was like, man, I really need to, you know, up my game. So I was watching a YouTube video and kind of painting along and I mean, mine looks quite different from what theirs did, but I like how it turned out. It was, All it right. was good. Yeah, I didn't prepare the canvas, which is why it looks, you know, kind of rough. But All right. Learn. It actually looks good. I really like it so yeah. much. How about this one? Oh. This one is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I actually didn't have the right colors for it. Um, so I just kind of used what I had and it's kind of like a fairy forest. <laughs> and um, so yeah, it's a cherry blossom forest with a purple waterfall because I didn't have the colors. And I was like, yeah, purple water, it's fine. So yeah, just down it's because it's my favorite color it's okay <laughs> yeah i feel like i added too many cherry blossoms mm -hmm. but like in the water and stuff and flip around but yeah i like how my trees turned out mm -hmm. all right really <laughs> cool <laughs> okay so let me just uh do this here okay so um I, I'm about to show you a video, but for some reason, guys, it's not working. Um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, convert the videos real quick. It's gonna take me uh, around two minutes. It's, it's gonna be fine if you just take a break real quick for two minutes, and we'll be back. All right, guys. All right. Okay, we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, we are back. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're back to the talent portion, guys. Right. So <laughs> what I was trying to <laughs> try to play. Oh, okay. No, you're not gonna get a pass, Amy. Okay, I'm definitely <laughs> gonna show this video. <laughs> so, okay, we've talked about your painting, 
and this time let me show you this uh this video right here all right mute, mute your sound guys mute your sound <laughs> <laughs> okay let me show you this video here we go <laughs> <laughs> I am not a stranger to the dark Hide away, they say Cause we don't want you broken parts Yeah. I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say No one will love you as you are But won't let them break me down to dust I know that there's a place for us For we are glorious all right that was it i, I want to see more and you know what guys there's more <laughs> trying to hold my breath let it stay this way can't let this moment end he set off a dream in me getting louder now can you hear it echoing? Take my hand, we share this with me. Cause darling, without you, all the shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky, never be enough. Yeah. All right, I want to see one more, one more. I got a girl crush. Hate to admit it, but I've got a heart rush. It's slowing down. I got it real bad. Want everything she has. They're smiling at me. I kind of wanted more there. I was just, uh, I was left with. <laughs> why did you? Why didn't you finish it, Emmy? <laughs> she she like, does those types for our Instagram, so yeah. they're short, short clips. I've never done like right. a full cover anywhere. Yeah. Uh, okay. How about you, Tori? Though. <laughs> um, Emmy can vouch for me. I can't sing. Yes, she can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I can't no. sing. Um, it's very rare to see me sing. Um, that is true. That she is. doesn't sing very often. No, I don't. Um, right. My That's talent okay. is catching Emmy's all embarrassing moments legitly on camera. I don't know how I do it. Okay. But she gets embarrassed every single time. They're all in all our reaction videos, pretty much. There's one of her praying to the door because of Ken. the pen. She was just like, oh my gosh. So I turned the camera and she's like, are you kidding me? You recorded me. I was like, I didn't know what to do with myself. Okay, I'm sorry. And then randomly before we start recording sometimes, I'll hit play and she doesn't realize. And she'll be dancing and goofing around or something. So I'm just, or twerking. She twerks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So All right. That's my talent is embarrassing her. <laughs> 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 that's so funny okay you really sound like you're really close with each other mm -hmm. i kind of hope a little bit that I, I can see a little bit of footage but you know if you don't have it that's fine it's fine um, all right oh okay uh give me a little bit and i'll find it <laughs> <laughs> oh okay now we got something yeah oh i have those snapchat videos but they're uh, on my phone oh well that doesn't help 
Yeah, so you can carry on. I'll, yeah. I'll find All right. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll go ahead and get, get back to it when you find it then. Okay. All right. So, okay. Okay, that's fine. So, um, I want to play our first icebreaker right now with SB19. <laughs> so, so, I need your... <laughs> yeah, um, your attention, I guess. So since there's two of you, I'd like to I'd like you to have a little bit of a competition here. Oh, All right. So, <laughs> but no prize. I mean, it's just for fun, and the okay. audience will will help you. But whoever guesses the fir- the face first, then gets a point. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, okay, let's get this thing rolling here. So this is the guess the SB19 face game. Okay, let's so- start with the first one. Oh my gosh, I stink at these type things. So do I. <laughs> All right, who is this? That Ken. One. Emmy, no. Ken. Okay. No, I think it's Justin. No. Mm, that both of you make sense, but what it's do the wrong. audience We're think? Wrong. It's probably Josh. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see. It oh. is Ken. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good job, Amy. One point to zero for Tori. Next one. Uh, Justin. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Or too. Josh. No, it's to- It's. I think it's just. Yeah, it, it's just. It's What's your Justin. final answer, guys? Justin. Both Justin. Okay. Yeah. No. It's Happy. actually Josh. <laughs> what? Like, you said. <laughs> Justin's nose is different. Like Josh's. It's just different. I'm horrible. Yeah. At this. I can't even do. I, I guess too quick. I should have went with my yeah. second gut. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I made it really hard no, that's for you guys. Cheating. So <laughs> guess on your own, Tori. One, one to zero. Still okay. Let's okay. let's see the next one. Ooh, whose forehead is that? That's gotta be Stell. I think it's Stell because the eyebrows. Yeah. Oh, totally okay. Both are Stell's. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it I'm really sad. is. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yes, you did it. <laughs> okay, both of you get a point. One to two. Emmy's leading. As All right, as let's go. All right, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one. Pablo. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no question. Were... No doubts. <laughs> the eyes like gives it away, right? So yeah, okay. He has, he has Let's the most see. intense like eyes. Yes. Oh, oh, yes definitely. A... <laughs> definitely Pablo. Alright, one point mm-hmm. each for you. Two, three so far. Alright. Next one. Justin. Justin. Okay. Okay. Again, so, in unison. No? <laughs> we just need to improve on Josh. Well, I, I, I'm fine with Ken. Okay. You were, you were a little bit. You don't want to Josh either. All right. Let's see who it is. Yes. Okay. You got it right. Okay. So it's four three so far. Let's go ahead and see the next one. Oh, who's that? Pablo. Hmm. I'm going with Pablo. I'm going to go with Okay, Josh. Pablo for Emmy. Pablo or Josh. All right, Pablo and Josh. Let's see. Let's see. I don't like the angle of that. Ah! <laughs> it's Josh. We are tied at 4-4. Okay, it's just gotten I'm competitive sure. all of a sudden. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have this photo saved somewhere <laughs> on my phone, too. <laughs> I mean, all right. Give Pablo oh. me. Okay. All right, next one. Ooh, who's that? Man, that yeah, I can see. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Okay. All right, Ken. Both of you, Ken. All right. Who does this? I think I edited a photo. Oh no, I didn't edit that. Yeah. Photo. <laughs> All right, it's definitely Ken. Okay. Five five. I love him in red hair. <laughs> yeah. oh, he yeah. definitely like fits him. Mm-hmm. That Ooh, is. Who's that? Justin. Okay. I was gonna say that would have been Josh, but you know, you seem to be just following me along with my. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Josh, and then I looked, and I'm like, oh, I so, the bunny uh-huh. teeth, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. the bunny little memes with Josh, and that's not bunny. Mm-hmm. You know All what I mean? All right. 
Okay. I, I got gotcha. you. It is Justin. I already know it's Justin. Okay. So you both got it correctly again. Five five. Yes. Next one. I think I'm copying her. That is Pablo. <laughs> oh, no hesitation, both of you. Okay. Why? Why do you Pablo. say it's Pablo? <laughs> I know Pablo. <laughs> okay. It's oh, definitely, yeah. it's definitely him. All right. Oh, I love Pablo. This Who's is this. Yellow. The lip. Ooh. Oh, this okay, the lip. Me. This is the lip. Okay. Screen. You guys are answering at the same time. I love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's finally picking up her game here. <laughs> oh, okay, Stell. All right, six He's six here. He's throwing my biases at me now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is the last one. So it's gonna be a tiebreaker. Who answers next wins it. All right. So oh, who answers? Who answers first? <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, that was it. <laughs> that was actually it. Okay, so you 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 ended up tied. Okay, that's fine. All right, I like that. Okay, <laughs> that, that was, was fun. That was funny. That was fun. <laughs> All right, you definitely know SB19 for sure. Some of the faces there are really hard to dis distinguish, and you you did. So, props to you guys. So I want to go straight to. Uh, well, before we start the interview, I want to know your upbringing. Like, how, how, how were the two Mori Mori Entertainment members? You like, like, grew up, started. Like, what's your story, guys? Now, I want to hear first Tori's story. So, yeah, let's listen up, guys, and uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's hear it. <laughs> Mine's a boring story, guys. <laughs> Uh, so I was born in New York, um, eventually my mom and my dad divorced around of the age of two for me, so we moved to Delaware. Uh, my mom and I, we lived with my grandmother until I was in second grade where she eventually met my stepfather, which is great. Um, been living with him until I've been living on my own since 20. Um, Let's see, what else? I said a lot of stuff, and now I'm like drawing a blank and I'm telling my life. Um, I went to a private Catholic school from kindergarten to eighth grade uh, due to the fact my grand, um, my grandmother worked there. Then I went to a public high school where everything was new to me. You know, you didn't have the same people from kindergarten to eighth grade. So, and you went to different classes, different faces each time. So that was new to me. I was in a serious relationship for pretty much my whole high school year, which ended up being a very, um, toward the end, it was a mentally abusive relationship. Um, he ended up cheating, um, broke up, obviously, ended up working all the time. My thing is mainly relationships. I've been very into, I've been controlled, mentally abused several times. Um, wow. Almost physically abused. I've had things thrown at me just because the person couldn't find their other sock or they couldn't find a lighter or something. And no it way. would automatically be my fault. So I've had to deal with that. Um, then pretty much working here, going, being, not working here, but doing YouTube <laughs> with Emmy, um, working in the hospital through the whole COVID situation, um, Emmy and I getting in a car accident, um, being scammed out of $3,000 from a close friend, which Emmy will go a little more in detail with that. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah, so causing us to be pushing back our Philippines trip. Um, no, that's so crazy. Yeah. Projects we were working on. That's a lot of money. We a lot of things were put on hold until we get back on our feet, which is pretty much why the channel hasn't had as much come out due to us both working. I work two jobs now to try to make up for it and pay off things. And oh. Emmy just recently, after her surgeries and all that, was able to start working again. So it's, it's been a very long process for us and very, I feel like, depressing for us. Mm -hmm. uh, because there's moments where we feel like we're losing hope, but right when we feel like we're losing hope, 
either SB19 or another group will come out with a song that legitly hits us in that specific moment and give us hope again and makes us cry. <laughs> yeah. So, oh man. I have a very boring life, guys. <laughs> no, that's that's very far from boring right there. Uh, if it wasn't oh my god. I mean, oh, and if I, I had my house broken into. <laughs> Holy crap. And everything was taken. So, that's about it. No way. <laughs> what a boring life indeed. Uh, right. Very boring life, I feel like. <laughs> oh my god. That, that that's that's just I if I was there, I wouldn't know. I will never know if I survive that. I would. I don't know. So, thank you for you know keeping yourself strong, and um, and you know you ended up being here and you know becoming one of the inspirations. So I appreciate that you shared a little bit of your life to us, Tori, and you know um, it's it feels so good to hear that you know SB19 song and generally other artists' song can make an impact you know so much in our lives that they make us strong and they make us you know face our challenges so that's just an amazing thing to hear from a fellow content creator so thank you for sharing so emmy <laughs> what what is your story like i i know we talked a little bit about it but i wanted to hear from you because it's you know I think it's one of the craziest things I've ever heard. <laughs> so, yeah, tell us about it. It sounds like a movie. Like, it legit does. Um, oh, man. I don't it's know if we should movie. say, like... A horror movie or what? Yeah, it's a horror movie. <laughs> horror movie? Okay. Um, I don't know if we should say trigger warning or not. But anyways. Um, so, I was adopted when I was... Four or five. Um, I was born into a very abusive household, um, and I've talked a little bit about it on our channel and videos and stuff. But um, yeah, that was me after I was adopted. <laughs> but um, our parents. I have two older sisters. Um, one of them I'm still very close to. The other one I do not talk to. Um, I'll get more into that later. But. Um, our parents kind of loved us in the order they had us. So my oldest sister, we'll call her S, she got the most love, the most attention, rarely got hit at all. Um, she got the best toys, you know, she got all the newest things. And then, um, you know, like she rarely could do wrong. Um, and then my middle sister, we'll call her H, who I'm still very, very close to, um, she, she got abused, um, you know, she got like the hand-me-down toys, things like that. Um, she actually didn't start speaking until she was six because wow. of some of the things that, you know, she had seen and, um, you know, what we had been no through. No way. Her first word was cookie, so that, you know. Um, and then I got the most abuse because I was like the mistake, I was the one who you know, they, my dad thought came from an affair. So I got heavily, heavily abused. Um, I have a scar on the back of my hand from when I got slammed with a glass door. And then um, one of the reasons we actually went into foster care was because my parents locked me in a closet for three days and our neighbors didn't see me what? playing with my sisters. Yeah. So I'm actually scared of the dark because of it. Um, Wait, three days? That's no water and food? No, three days locked away. What the heck? That, I mean, that is... Whoa there, yeah. man. And I was okay, smiling because well, if I don't smile, I'm going to cry and I don't want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> but, shit, um, man. Yeah, three days, no food, no water, no light. Um, CPS, which is Child Protective Services, found me in the closet, um, and yeah, I'm scared of the dark to this day. Um, I have sleep paralysis, not necessarily because of that, but it's just, you know, my life. Um, and then once we went into foster care, luckily the first home we went into is the family that adopted us, but they also took all three of us, which is pretty unheard of. Um, normally wow. they'll take one. 
um, just because, you know, a lot of families can't afford to take on three young, young children. So we were lucky that they adopted all of us and, you know, things got better. Um, however, you know, my adopted family, which I'm just gonna call my family, um, they made sure to treat us equal. You know, we would, you know, all get new toys. If one of us got something, all of us got something. Um, we were never hit. We were never threatened with like beatings or anything like that. Um, however, one of the stipulations of being in foster care was my biological mom was still trying to get us back. And um, no way. Yeah. So we had to visit her on the weekends and um, sometimes for like a week or two at a time in the summer. <clears throat> and one of the times my oldest brother, who my parents have uh, seven kids, no, mm -hmm. like six kids of their own from, you know, my dad's first marriage and then their marriage together. So I have two older brothers and like two older sisters. And um, so my oldest brother, who was actually wanting to be a, an attorney, he came to pick us up from one of these weekend visits and he heard screaming from the apartment window. And he said he ran upstairs and the apartment door was unlocked. So he went in and um, he saw my dad holding me upside down, beating me with a belt. And yeah. Damn. Um, that is, I know. Wow. I don't Did he get to jail? Like, I mean, that um, is just, that's a crime right there. Yes. I don't know if he actually went to prison, but um, after that, we no longer had to do the weekend visits. We were able to be officially adopted um, because they said that my biological mom had no chance of getting us back after that. She was just sitting there watching it. Um, so... My brother took all three of us out of the apartment and we went home and we were able to be officially adopted, which happened when I was about four or five. And then life was good, you know, it was great. I went to a Christian private school because I had tested high for, you know, my IQ and my parents. Wow. I needed, it's not so high now, I don't think, but <laughs> <laughs> um, back then, um, they thought I needed to really like build that foundation. So I went to a private school. Um, and then in middle school, I started going to a public school and then I ended up going to the same high school as Tori. Um, when I was about growing up, my sister S, who's the oldest, um, she started getting jealous of, you know, my middle sister and I getting more attention than she's used to us having. And it got to the point to where like she was acting out all the time and she would hit us more than just play fighting. Cause we play fight, oh. you know? And she started like just hitting us to hit us and it was no longer like playing around. So no it got so bad to the point where she tried to kill us with kitchen scissors. How like, old were you? I was- Holy what i was like eight nine ten <clears throat> somewhere around there um oh. so i was like yeah you know it had been a, quite a few years after we had been adopted but she just couldn't deal with not being the center of attention anymore and so yeah. she wow. tried oh. to kill us with kitchen scissors we had to run out of our house and down the street to my best friend's house and they, you know, locked the doors, called my parents. Um, our family was really close with theirs, so they knew kind of what was going on already. And um, my family actually made the decision to give S up um, because for our safety. You know, my family oh, still had man. other foster kids coming through the house, taking care of them. And for their safety and ours, she, we just couldn't have S in the house anymore. And oh, she must have been affected with all these things that went through when you were you guys were young like yeah she it, was definitely troubled oh my yeah. god yeah and like my family had tried getting her help she went to therapists and um all types of like um doctors and things like that and it's just nothing worked and um my family always did like positive reinforcements and it's just like you know nothing seemed to 
kind of shake her out of um, these this way she was developing. Um, so my sister actually decided to go back to our biological mom and, um, you know, CPS allowed it because they said she was old enough at that time to make her own decision. And to this day, I've not talked to her. Um, they tried to contact me on my birthday. Um, every once in a while, um, they'll find out where I work and they'll send like a cousin or somebody and be like, Hey, aren't you, you know, so-and-so's daughter. I'm like, no, I'm not. You got the wrong person and I just don't want anything to do with them. And she's had kids of her own that have been taken away and she's got oh my God. drugs and I'm just, I'm not Holy that person. So I, just, I know it's crazy. Um, but yeah. And so that's kind of the crappy part of my childhood. <laughs> um, Man, I'm, I mean, what you're doing here is definitely, <laughs> it takes guts because that's your fa family, right? Yeah. But in my opinion, you have done the right thing because if, if you want to be successful in life, you got to have to remove the people who are mm -hmm. affecting you negatively because they're just going to hold you back. And right. sadly, if they are your family, I mean, no no true family is going to hold you back so if they're right. holding you back then they're not really real family so it's sad it's hard it's heartbreaking for you to do that but mm -hmm. it has to be done and you know look at you now i mean i just commend you for doing all that and thank you for sharing us that story that's very very sensitive so mm -hmm. just thank you okay yeah. <laughs> i'm just very <laughs> amazed with with what you have told us so far but i think you still have some more There's okay more. so i'm gonna <laughs> keep you going so go right, ahead go ahead <laughs> okay. um so we talk about a couple happy things before we get into more sad stuff um my sister h and i were competitive swimmers we were actually pretty good we went to nationals um, wow and i started learning piano but then it started interfering with my swimming so i had to quit piano and then when i was 16 i told my i was a senior in high school and I told my mom, because I was so mad that I had to quit piano. I told her, I was like, you know, I really don't think I can swim, plus do senior projects and working a job. And, you know, I think it's too much for me. So I was like, can I quit swimming? And she allowed me to quit. Um, so I stopped swimming when I was 16. I mean, I still swim, but not competitively. And then um, I graduated high school and I, I had went to college for like a semester um, during high school in the summer. I actually went to um, a local college here and I would take like semester courses and I was able to get like college credits. So during my senior year, I only had like three classes that I had to take so I could leave early. But um, yeah, I did a semester of school, but I didn't really know what I wanted. Um, I graduated. I went into my senior year when I was 16. I started college when I was 17. And like, who knows what they want to do when they're 17? Like, I had no idea. So I went for a semester and I was like, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm just wasting money. It's so expensive to go to school. And True. so I ended up dropping out and I just worked um, for, you know, till now. And then um, when, you know, I, you know, partied, hung out with friends, you know, did all the things that you know, you do when you're a teenager and going on, you know, 20, 21. Um, it, it was a good time in my life. And then <laughs> on to more sadness. <laughs> um, so some people know this already because like I said, you know, we're pretty open on our channel as well. Um, and I've said it in a few, few videos alive here and there. Mm -hmm. um, when I was about 19, um, I was hanging out with a friend and we were hanging out with this guy she liked. And I had no interest in him, didn't like him, no interest at all. I was literally just planning on just being a third wheel and just being there, chilling, you know, hanging out. And, you know, we were playing games and whatever, you know, just the fun stuff. And he would flirt with me and I would be like, you know, I would try to push him towards my friend because she liked him and she wanted him, you know, to flirt with her. So I tried to push him towards her and he just kept flirting back with you know to me and it got to the point to where she got mad and it was late so she was like you know let's just go to bed normally when i would stay the night i would sleep in bed with her you know 
And this time when I went to get in bed, she was like, no, you can sleep on the floor. And I was like, okay, she's mad. And, you know, I didn't see a problem with it. Like, I didn't really want to sleep on the floor. Um, but I was like, okay, I can sleep on the floor, you know, whatever. And when I went, like, turned around, because her bed was, like, here. And when I turned around, the guy was already, like, laying down. Because, I mean, it was late, you know. And so he was already laying down. But he was kind of, like, over by the wall. So there was plenty of space for me to lay down. I laid down while well, I went got a blanket, pillow, laid down. And, um he like scooted closer and there wasn't really anywhere for me to go because I was already right up against her bed and um he started to like come on to me and touch me and stuff and I was like you know um no it's over and um he didn't and I heard my friend crying so I was like let me get up check on her you know maybe he'll leave me alone now and so I got up, checked on her, and I was like, you know, are you okay? And I thought she was gonna be like, you know, can you come up here, we'll talk or whatever. She didn't, she said, I'm fine, you can lay back down. And at that time, I was a very different person than I am now. So I, I was, I have to say scared. And like, I'd never really wanted to rock the boat, so to speak, or create an issue in my friend group. So not wanting to cause an argument, I laid back down. And long story short, um, he raped me and my friend was literally less than two feet away. So it, it was very, like, that was my first, like, experience sexually. Oh I don't know God. if I'm allowed to say that on your channel. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, so that was my first, like, sexual experience other than, like, kissing and, you know, little things like that. Um, and it really, the next day, like I kind of pushed it out of my mind and the next day she apologized. But at that point I was just like, I'm done. Cause there had been other things that she had done and her sister who I was also friends with had done. And it just, I just cut her off. I cut her sister off. I cut the whole family off and I was like, I'm done. I can't do this. Um, and I didn't call the cops on him because I just kind of pushed it in a little box in the back of my mind. And, um, you know, I was like, you know, I'll be fine. I heard like a couple days later that he was getting arrested for something else. So I was like, okay, he's going to jail anyway, we're good, you know? And then uh, I never told my family. I never told um, other friends. Um, and it actually didn't like come out of me until we were doing a reaction video and I it was for a series and somehow some way it because we're so open on our channel and it just came out and you know I was crying and Tori was there so yeah the first time I really talked about it was with our subscribers and Tori so yeah I and, also don't like that chick yeah she knew her but um it's just, I don't mind talking about it. Um, I smile when I do because, you know, whew, it makes me not cry. And um, so I feel like people say, you know, were you a victim of sexual assault? No, I'm not a victim, I'm a survivor. And I feel like there's a lot of people in the world who are survivors of sexual assault and rape. And they need to realize that, you know, it, it's hard. And like, I don't want anyone to ever be able to say that, you know, they understand how I feel or they understand where I've been because that means they've been through it too. And I don't want anyone to ever have to go through that. But there are people who have, and it's just, I want to bring awareness to it and let them know that they're not the problem. It's not their fault. You know, I don't care if you're out here walking around naked. It's nobody's business to come up and touch you. And, you know, it doesn't matter what you wear. Your body's your body and nobody else should be allowed to touch it without your permission. Um, but sometimes no is not enough for people, even though it should be. So I made the decision then and there that I would always try to make my wants and what I wanted completely clear and my opinion completely clear because I didn't ever, you know, cause I thought, you know, maybe he misunderstood me, you know, 
maybe he didn't hear me and things like that. But obviously now that I'm older, I'm like, no, that wasn't the case. He just didn't want to stop. Um, so I'm always going to make my opinion clear. And sometimes people don't like that. Sometimes, you know, I can be a little too blunt, I guess, but I would rather be, I don't ever set out to hurt someone's feelings with what I say, but I don't ever want confusion. confusion. Yeah. And if I happen to hurt somebody's feelings, you know, I am sorry. But at the same time, I would rather hurt your feelings than go through anything like I went through. So, you know, if anybody watching this has been assaulted or gone through anything, and even physical violence, child abuse, domestic abuse, um, just know you're not the problem. It's not your fault. You know, whatever your abuser says, it's not your fault. It is them 100%. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god that was a lot to take in man like, i know <laughs> oh <so> <laughs> lord <laughs> oh man i don't know what to say to be honest because i don't have the experience i i mean it must have been confusing to you like mm -hmm. uh it must have been hard to handle mm -hmm. because very few people have have experienced that let alone very people share that and mm -hmm you are very brave in, in sharing that here with us and uh thank you so much for inspiring the other people especially the ones who are still you know um are, are not decided or someone who has who has experienced it and don't know what to do about that experience so mm -hmm. thank you so much for giving direction to those people and uh i just appreciate you so much emmy and um you are a strong person uh keep inspiring others keep uh, stay as a sunshine to other people and uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you just thank you both of you all both of y'all you you guys are the best i mean you, your story are just so 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 inspiring i know tori was holding a little bit back but i understand <laughs> but uh you guys are the best thank you for just thank you for sharing your life with us all right so what did you do to cope with every with every time you felt like you hit rock bottom like i i know you guys you have have gone through these these moments in your lives right so how do you how did you cope with it how did you handle it um well like i said one of the major catalysts of my life was being raped and i kind of like i said shoved it in the back of my mind and i just you know kind of went on with my life you know i dated i you know i didn't go like crazy or anything you know but people deal with it differently and i just i kind of just acted normal you know i didn't want i don't like when people worry about me so i just acted normal and you know i'm the type like i can take on a lot without it showing outwardly and so i'm the type to just kind of keep it taking it taking it taking it in taking it in and eventually like i do get emotional every once in a while and it just kind of comes out but I kind of just deal with it all internally. And then she worries more, like, she gets more, like, physically nervous, I think. And um, I don't want her worrying about me. So I keep stuff kind of even more to, to myself, unless it's something, you know, Aww. I do tell her mm -hmm. it's just it takes me time and it's not because I don't trust her it's just because I don't want her to worry about me she's the reason I had my first panic attack when we got oh. in the car accident I was so worried oh, about I didn't even her. talk about the car accident or the scamming because uh, god I, I was so oh. worried about her I was more paranoid about her safety because she was in pain I kept apologizing even though it wasn't our, our fault. fault she wasn't even I was driving I mean it wasn't my fault but like she was in the passenger side and the car was on the side of the road and just whipped a Yui and hit us. Yeah, hit us. Broke um, my wrist. But oh, I kept man. apologizing. I was more concerned about her and her getting better and everything. Yeah. Yeah. There goes my car. Wow. I had so car for eleven years. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It doesn't look like just one other accident. I mean, this is a huge impact right there. This yeah. car cannot run. <laughs> no. They they did yeah it, they totaled it yeah I had to get a new car yeah. oh my Which god how about I, this I car though what yeah, about that's this the one, one? That hit us. yeah that that's the one that hit you oh yeah. wow yep oh we man. were on the side of the road and tried to whip a U turn and just hit us yep and I was oh honking the god. horn guys if you're about to get in an accident don't honk your horn because when the airbag deploys it's gonna snap your wrist that's oh. my advice to you. <laughs> 
Oh my God. And that's yeah. exactly what happened to you. Man, yeah. so how, so can you tell us about your injury then? Like, since we, we, we got that brought up here, um, how how was it? Like, how bad was it? Uh, it was the worst, like, most pain. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can kind of see the bump. My wrist, it didn't like- Yeah. Come. Yeah, when I was honking, the um, airbag, because I was applying opposite force, the airbag just snapped my wrist. Um, it was actually broken in two places. Oh and God. yeah, and then my base thumb joint was shattered, which they didn't realize until they went to do um, surgery. Yeah, so I have a plate in my wrist now holding everything together, which um, he said that my bone has healed, but they keep the plates and they don't go back in and take them out. And then I have a pin in my thumb to kind of hold my thumb joint together. And I mean, yeah. if you look at this, it's really broken, man. Like it's yeah. in, it's it, shattered. Yeah, yeah, it was snapped. Oh and my then God. Um, I have a bone fragment over on like this side that he said um, he can't remove. It has to stay in. So that causes pain every once in a while. But um, yeah. Oh wow, that's so crazy. So uh, I have never tried to to drive a car, and you know the airbag pressure must be really strong because it <laughs> snapped your freaking wrist, man. Yeah, wow. yeah. And it was like instant. Like there was no like gentle. It was like poof. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even wow. realize I had broken it until because I was more worried about Tori because she was on like the impact side. So I looked over and I was like, "Are you okay?" And she was like, "I bit my." <laughs> Just, like, <laughs> tongues bleeding. <laughs> oh like, man. Oh, and then I looked. That must have hurt. It did hurt. Bro. I thought I bit my tongue off. <laughs> okay, I thought I bit oh. my tongue off, and I looked, and I they like, had blood on my hands, and I mean I was fine. I couldn't feel the tip of my tongue for like three weeks, but yeah. it's Holy fine. <laughs> I didn't realize I had even been injured that bad until after I checked on her and somebody came to my window and I just looked over and as I was looking over, I caught sight of my wrist and I could see like the visible like bump of where my bone is. And I look at Tori and I'm like, I broke my wrist. And like we were, I was crying cause like the pain started setting in and it was moments oh, of, we were lucky that like so many people stopped to help us. Um, and it was just a moment there were moments where I was like, you know, breathing fine and it was okay. And then just intense waves of pain would come and I'd be like, oh, oh. and then, um, like I said, a lot of people stopped and helped us. Um, there was this one guy who actually kept me really calm and he was like, I'm going to turn off the car so you can take your foot off the brake. And you know, cause I was like, I can't take my foot off the brake. Cause then we're going to roll into traffic. And so oh, my man. leg was like shaking and, um, he turned the car off and he was like, I'm just gonna take your seatbelt off. Is that okay? And I was like, yeah, let's go ahead. I mean, I didn't say go ahead. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. And um, so he took off my seatbelt and he, you know, he was like, don't move your hand, don't move your arm. He was like, keep it elevated. And um, yeah, there were some good Samaritans out there that day, thank God. Not the people who hit us though. Yeah, they, had a, they had an attitude. They're like, is everyone okay? I'm like, you see her <laughs> screaming, you see blood on me. I they were fine. They had no issues, no, no cuts, no nothing. Mm -hmm. And then the oh, no. funny, not so funny thing is they're actually trying to sue me. No way. As for the accident. Yeah. So that I'm in the middle of a lawsuit with that. I have a really great lawyer though. And their insurance company, the people who caused the accident already admitted fault because they offered me a settlement, which okay. I didn't accept. And, um, so yeah i'm just waiting for all that to get settled oh and, man that's some stressful stuff going on yeah i was in the worst part i think was physical therapy um because it's painful like i couldn't even like turn my hand like this like it was so painful and man, looking at the surgery scar i mean it, did they open this up like yes. you're a part of your wrist so Holy crap. the little tape bandages, the uh, steri strips, that's where they did like the incision for the broken part of my wrist. And then you can kind of see on my thumb, like a little dot, that's where the pin was inserted. The Bro. disgusting part in the middle, <laughs> um, I had a carpal tunnel release. 
Um, that's what that scar in the middle is. That's my scar now. So, not too bad. I'm kind of glad I already had a tattoo. You know, oh, kind of help man. cover. You know what I mean? Because tattoos What's are that? scars. The two that the two was there already before yes. this happened. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, they did a wonderful job, like patching it up, because it didn't really affect the, to the tattoo yeah. so much. Yeah, I was worried. I was like, I know this is dumb, but I was like, is my tattoo gonna be messed up? Like, how bad's the scar gonna be? And he's like, no, I'll try and stitch you up straight. And I was like, all right, cool. And I mean, he did pretty good. Yeah. So nice. Wow. Yeah. But, but that must have been the. The physical therapy, how how hard was it? Because oh. so you couldn't move your fingers? Is that what happened? I could move these four, I could not move my thumb because the base joint was shattered. So I had to wait like six weeks, eight weeks at least before I could even, um, before the pin could come out and I could move it again. And even now, oh. like I still like struggle to like move it some, but it's gotten better. Those were the toys that I played with that's okay. icing after um a session um but like i still have trouble like picking up coins and like small things um but luckily i can like do full rotation well pretty full rotation um i can grasp it's not as strong as it used to be which sucks because it's my dominant hand but yeah even doing that like pushing that against that little bit of resistance was so difficult oh but, man yeah it was it was difficult Man, okay. I, I didn't get a chance to watch you play with those toys. Yeah. I got the boring toys. Oh. <laughs> Man, that must be really tough because uh, I can see you a little bit shaking there when you're trying this and yeah. uh, you're really exerting some effort. So I'm glad. I'm just glad that you're better now. Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> that was crazy. You could have died there, to be honest. That's so yeah. scary. Yep. Oh, man. Okay, well, thank you for sharing us that story. But tell us about the scamming incident, though. <laughs> I'm really curious like wh how how did you say yes to that person like what was what was the 3k for and you know I really want to know <laughs> okay so if it's okay people might know already um we were very close to the manager of mm -hmm. um J Ace Entertainment or talent management company whatever it used to be called that changed to Misfit Management mm -hmm, that changed Ooh. to Misfit management and um tori was actually close first mm -hmm. um just because i was working you know a lot of night shifts overnights things like that so like she would go on lives and on instagram and she got close to him and then i started getting close to him and um we became close to him and his talents and um after you know a year um we because we People know that we're working on projects and series and things like that. So um, he had, we had talked to him, of course, about wanting to do things like that. And he had a, well, first Tori sent him, he had like medical bills or something. And um, yeah, Tori sent him a thousand dollars US. And, um, you know, he said he'll pay it back, which when he, was going to whether he actually was going to we don't know because um he was like you know i have the money in a couple of days and i'll send it to you and you know we're like you know okay good and then probably the next day or day after um he said that he had a series opportunity mm -hmm. and that um you know he asked if we wanted to you know invest in it and we were like, okay, you know, and Tori and I talked and we were like, you know, why doesn't he just keep the thousand dollars for that series? Because he said that's all that he would really need for it. Because it was just kind of, you know, a low budget type thing. And um, like a TV series? Yeah, on yeah, YouTube. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. On YouTube, okay. Yeah. And Whoa. so it was a BL series. <laughs> and, okay. Um, so he kept the money or whatever, and that was our investment. And then um, that ended up falling through. But as that fell through, we um, were very close to another director, another director um, from Oxen Films. And he had talked to us about. You yes, know, they are Filipino, by the way. Oh, yes, Filipino, yes. Sorry. Whoa, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, his name's. And the, the the first the first dude as well was Filipino. Yeah, they're both yes. Yeah. Wow. So I'll that say his is name. crazy. His name's Neven. Yeah, his name's Neven. Or Eric. The one that um, scammed, scammed us. us. Eric Neven, Dylan the Weaver. And then um. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Our our friend from um Oxen Films is Direct Sean. Yes. And he has been amazing. Um through this whole situation mm -hmm. but um and so it's like the cast and stuff but um yeah so he contacted saying that he had a um you know a series idea and um he had already talked to Neven and Neven was like well since the other fell through you know maybe we could do this one and we were like okay like we know direct Sean's cinematography is always mm -hmm. on point and you know, we really liked his other series that he had done and it was super successful. So we were like, you know, okay, yeah, you know, sure. Mm -hmm. So we said, you know, how much of an investment do you need? And we got that ironed out and we had a contract and our investment was to be 3000 US dollars, which um, 1000 of that, and it's stated in our contract, is from like Neven, like, you know, and then we would send two more thousand and that would be our 3000 investment. And we sent it, we had proof that we sent it. And, um, you know, D-Day came and, um, like we said, we're close to those talents. And we found out that he hadn't been paying his talents and, um, one of them told us that he doesn't think he had our money anymore he had our money anymore so we what yes <laughs> um i don't want to say the talent's name no just because um i don't know i don't want to get them involved more at this moment um we are going to do an expose but um yeah the talent holy we're, shit yeah we're still in contact with and things like that but um, yeah, so it got to the point to where we were like, um, as soon as we found out, we had a meeting with Eric Sean and we were like, you know, what what, what do we do? And um, he kind of explained stuff and he was like, um, you know, I'll cover whatever. And um, from the earnings, we'd be paying from the, him back. Yeah, from our earnings of the series, we would be basically paying him the 3000 that he was covering for us that he even stole. Mm -hmm. And um, he was like, you know, what we need to do is see if he still has the money. Mm -hmm. And um, we, after we had that meeting, we immediately contacted like our friends in the series. Mm -hmm. So um, we immediately contacted everyone and we told them what was going on. And like, we were in tears, in tears because um, like we just couldn't believe it and we felt like it was you know partly our fault you know for trusting him and so <sighs> yeah Shit. long story short here we are almost a year later he doesn't have our he's supposed to be sending it but we'll see he's supposed to send it by the end of this month yes two more days for this month yeah <laughs> <laughs> whoa man that is a blow and it actually hurt me because you know he's filipino and that is just wow yeah. man and i don't want oh. people to think that our experience with him hampers our love for the filipino people because it does not like we love the philippines we love the people um you know one bad experience it doesn't, doesn't uh, taint the whole country or anything like that no so because i know somebody commented on a video somewhere maybe it was on our post about it and you know i was like we still love you know the philippines and all their people it's just we don't love this one individual <laughs> oh my god that is just insane for you to have the conscience to do that to other mm -hmm. people it's just so crazy like three thousand dollars is not something that you just pick up in the streets man like right. yeah. i wish i could but... that was money that we had actually had to put aside to, to go, go to, to the philippines, philippines which is the reason our trip has been other than the car accident delayed it's the reason yeah. our trip's been delayed because we found out about the, him scamming us like a couple days before we got into the accident so yeah. we couldn't even deal with the scam Holy as fast as we wish we could have 
Oh my god, that is so crazy. Very, very stressful. And that makes it, it makes sense not that you have this little hiatus that happened in your channel, right? Yeah. So, oh man, you, yeah. you, you really couldn't tell what, what's going on with people until you talk to them. And, you know, yeah. thank you for letting us know about it. That is That takes guts to share as well. And... <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm really disappointed right now, and uh, I just hope it doesn't happen again. You know, um, you being good and uh, trust you know, you trusted someone. Um, it's definitely not your fault. It's just wow, tough luck. And whew, I'm I'm yeah. so glad that you guys remain strong and he, still here. And uh, I'm sure you'll bounce you'll you'll bounce back. I'm I'm sure so sure we're, you've gone through trying. a lot already. <laughs> That's just so crazy, man. I, I still can't even move on, man. That's, wow. <laughs> yeah. Insane. Wow. That's just oh my god. Anyway. Yeah. Whew. Oh god. Um. <laughs> so much seriousness happening here, and I. <laughs> I want to ask you something. You know. Uh, to make it a little bit fun so can you tell <laughs> can you tell us a little bit fun about you like you have do you have some random facts that you maybe have not told us just yet in the stream like tori you know you haven't spoken for a while now so can you like I I <laughs> when we talk about like serious stuff normally i'm the one that talks about it because like uh sometimes i articulate a little better yeah i yeah i get nervous about the whole situation yeah. let's say something so Fun things about me, fun fact. I am a gamer. I like gaming. Oh. Um, I also love anime. I actually have a game room next door that has anime posters all around it, K-pop, uh, gaming systems. Um, Yo, like <laughs> we should hang I'm out sometimes. <laughs> Yo, what, 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 what's your favorite anime? Let's start with that. Ooh, okay, so. It's hard to say a favorite it one, really I know. Is, <laughs> but I'm gonna choose one that um, it's something, it's like a bonding experience with my mom and I, because I got her into this anime, which is oh. Naruto. It's oh. my <laughs> mom and I would watch Naruto together. What? Yes, I was thinking no. about a serious type of Naruto. No way! I was yeah. thinking when you were trying to say that at the beginning. I I was already thinking of a series that you're about to say, but Naruto. I didn't. Expect I thought I, about something serious, something edgy, but Naruto. Oh, I also okay. Like, like Dead Man Wonderland, Death Note, Inuyasha. Oh shit! Yo, <laughs> um, those are some classic stuff. Okay. I love the classics. Let's go with the classics. <laughs> Man, that's really interesting, man. And uh, okay, okay. And what what games do you like? I like a lot of RPG games. Um, I it's just something about it. I like the stories, like Final Fantasy. Um, Yo. if I have to play a shooter game, I I like Halo, but I also like Call of Duty. Um, I'm not good at Call of Duty unless we do um. It's like capture the flag or domination mm -hmm. or something like that. I can rock when it's not just about shooting. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. Well, a game gives you a role, and you know yep. you can be so good about that with I that like role. Too. So, mm -hmm. Overwatch. Okay, yeah. those are some really nice games. Okay, <laughs> Halo is also really really good. Yes, okay. It's a classic. It is. It's still good until now if you play it, man. Right. Really cool. Okay. How about you, Tori? Oh. I, no, no, Emmy, <laughs> Emmy, sorry. I'm leaving the chat. No, I'm kidding. No, um, no. <laughs> so, um, I also love anime. I read, um, I got into anime through manga. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite Yo. anime is Inuasha. Yes. That was my first, like, oh. non real life crush, was Inuasha. <laughs> if you haven't had a crush on an anime character, are you a real anime fan? I don't know. I, don't know <laughs> I agree. Um, Inuyasha is really big here too. Oh, a yeah. lot of people know and I it. Love yeah. Koga. Koga is Koga. So adorable. But that's why I named Shippo Shippo. Yeah. You know. Oh. Um, he's so cute and little. Um. Yeah, I like games too. Um, Halo, Titanfall, Uncharted is one of my favorites. Yo, um, Uncharted! Oh man. I'm excited for the movie. I Yo, wait. it already came out actually. I think it already came out. Really? It did. So yeah, you you should check it out. But I, I'm I haven't. Have to. I haven't seen it just yet, but uh, oh, I wanna see it. yeah, it's the game though. The game is so amazing. Yes, I've played, I've played every them game. All. Yeah, and it's um, so amazing. Nathan Drake is so awesome. Yes, he is. But I like like 
first person shooters like that's more my thing i don't really like the role playing as much okay i like like the action and the bang bang um I, there's bang bang in final fantasy bang bang i'm just i'm, I'm <laughs> final fantasy i'm just saying <laughs> um and then hmm, another fact i have Yo, your tattoos. Let's talk about your tattoos, yeah? <laughs> um, uh, I mean, you have a lot, I can tell. Like, that this sleeve. SB19 one. Yeah, so... Yo, you, you got an SB19 one? I do. It's, it's kind of Holy sh... <laughs> Wait, hang on. I want to see one. that. It's kind of hard to see. But say what it is. It's um, Cherry Blossoms, and it says, Your voice is my favorite melody. From... Yo. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Ken. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh man, that's really cool. Yeah, I okay. I have 17 um count and that's counting like each individual tattoo from my sleeve. Um I'd say I have about 17 total. I have two on my back that no one ever sees. I have a lotus blossom here and then a music note with a heart and peace sign here, um which this was actually done in a friend's kitchen so it needs to be covered up cuz it's ugly. Okay. <laughs> but um <laughs> Yeah, I think I have about 17. That's your ATs one. Yeah, that's actually for ATs. Um, my bias is Sun, which means mountain. So that's why there's a mountain there. Yeah, I won't oh, ever man. I say never, but chances are I will never get somebody's name tattooed. I always get like something that symbolizes them. You know, like for Ken, awesome. I would, wouldn't get his name. I got a lyric, you know, that type of thing. Um, let me see. Yeah, so I think I have 17, but I've, or 16, but I've been actually tattooed eight 19 times 18 times i have two cover-ups and it's right here oh i had cool. um chinese that said live life and then i got it covered up with a koi fish and then i got that covered up with my peacock feather oh okay yeah. so wow. that's you and i promise is from an at song one day is actually from a book i really like and it just kind of reminds me that one day I'll achieve everything I want to achieve. And then the Roman numerals, the top one is my mom's birthday and the bottom is my dad's. And then I have ice wow. cream foam because I love ice cream. And then I just have this stuff over here because it's, mm -hmm. I like the aesthetic, to be honest. I only have two. Mm -hmm. I only have two tattoos. <laughs> I want more. Yeah. I only have two. Oh, that's so awesome. All right. What, what are those two tattoos? Like maybe you can describe them um, or I have us. one right here. It's an infinity, infinity sign that says life, love. Ooh. And then the other one I have, which is my first tattoo, stars on the back of my neck. I don't know. Yeah. I think oh, so. really cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have one tattoo one day, but I don't you think should. my wife will allow it. Oh, yeah, my, <laughs> next, <come on. laughs> my next tattoo, I think, is going to be a Mappa. Mappa, yo. She doesn't want to give too uh, much away. She yeah. doesn't want because I don't want people to copy it. Like I don't like. <laughs> Awesome, man. Wow. Such such expressive fans you are and very, very passionate. I, I, I really appreciate that. Thank <laughs> you. Okay, now we talked about facts. What other music you like? You mentioned ATs, right? Yes. What, what else? Um, I love ATs, Stray Kids, 1OK Rock. Um, I 1OK Rock. Oh, my God. The first time I saw them, when I was doing live in the... Someone requested me to react to it. I cried on the first song. Like I re literally bawled. Yes. Like, oh my god! One OK Rock is amazing, bro. And I didn't okay, even, keep. Uh, I didn't realize bro. that they sung the songs for the Ruin Kenshin live action films, which I love. They did. Holy yes. shit! Holy! <laughs> I watched fun. all the movies. Me too. And the They're anime great. too. Yes. <laughs> I did. I did. It's it's epic, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, wow. One OK rock, bro. And then I like Sick K, mm -hmm. who's a Korean rapper. I like a lot of rap and hip hop. Gabby. Um, yeah, Gabby on me, who, if you guys don't know him, which I'm sure, you know, unfortunately he's not as known. Check him out. Um, he goes Kinda, by Adrian K now. Yeah, he goes by Adrian K now. Um, Kinda, who's, you know, vocalist. And then he's I've, a former Top Dog member. Mm -hmm. If anyone knows Top Dog, K pop And then I really like Koogie, Juno Flow, um, yeah, 91, who's from Kazakh, Kazakhstan. And then no. I like, uh, I really like all the higher music artists, to be honest. JB Yugi. Okay. Yeah. And before you even reacted, I think I remember you told me that you already knew Skusta. Skusta Kali? Yes! You, so that's, can you tell I, how? How did you come across him? OC Dogs, right? OC Dogs, yeah. Pauli Nako. 
Oh, okay. I, I love that song. She introduced them to me. Yeah, it was yeah. really. Yeah, we ended yeah. up we reacted to it on our channel because I wanted her to see. And um, yeah, so that was actually the first like Filipino artist, as far as I'm aware, that I had ever listened to. But um, they didn't fully get me into like I love Scusta Please, like music, like Karma is a whole bop. But um, SB19 is what really pulled me in to like OPM and stuff. Oh, yeah. So I mean, we can name a lot yeah. of Filipino. Manila artists. Gray. Oh my God, Manila Gray. Block Nine. <laughs> Morissette, oh. KZ, oh. bro, those are legends. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, how about yo, kid? Yo, those are some really great artists right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I love them all. I feel like people get so surprised when we say other artists that aren't like as mainstream, I guess, for international people. Mm -hmm. Like people in the Philippines know who they are, mm -hmm. but as far as internationals, they're not like as known. And when we start listening artists people are like oh you do really like our music yeah we do like look up no <laughs> brand oh, oh. no brand yeah no brand is phenomenal mm -hmm. and a lot of people may not know this he's friends with josh from z boys and josh is friends with ken from sb19 mm -hmm. yo <laughs> yeah. do you even know z boys bro yeah yes you are so musically you know like <laughs> educated i would say <laughs> man you know your stuff okay so how about you tori like oh. is that the same exact thing with 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 emmy or <laughs> we love a lot of the same music yes um okay we have different tastes mm -hmm. but we listen like i'll just go with different pop type things we love p-pop a mm -hmm. lot of p-pop k-pop j-pop q-pop z-pop i-pop m-pop c-pop z-pop holy crap yeah. It's every pop in the world. Yeah, we just like music. Yo. I don't listen to American music that much, to yeah. be honest. Honestly, yeah, I don't either. They say yeah. it too, yep. Mm -hmm. Got Man. 7 is my ultimate group, which I love. God 7. Justin loves God, God 7. seven. Yeah. So Man. I'm like, yes. That's... <laughs> Yo, that's so that's really awesome, man. I, I feel like you know music more than I do. So <laughs> I that's so say, awesome. Yeah, more yeah, absolutely. Likes, more of like cutesy, like sh not likes it more, but like if we're reacting to something that's really super cutesy, she will like it over me. Mm -hmm. I like stuff that's a little more like hard hitting like in your too. face. No, I know, yeah. but I prefer that over like super cutesy stuff. If All that right. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Thank you so much for sharing that. That was really fun to hear um, and very educating too. We A lot of people in the live chat are really appreciating what you mentioned, guys, because <laughs> they know these artists too. It's so awesome. Mm -hmm. I love the interaction. Okay, so what's your favorite movie then, aside from music? Like, let's talk about a movie. So whoever um, wants to answer first. I Well, I already mentioned the Ruining Kenshin live action movies, yeah. which I love. Um, there's another Japanese movie, I don't know if you've seen it, called Kingdom. Japanese? Yeah. It's called mm -hmm. Kingdom. Yo. I, I think we need to explain, we we watch a lot of Asian... Oh! Um, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was expecting an American one, to be honest, so, oh, okay. I like the Kingdom. Marvel movies. <laughs> yeah, Marvel movies. Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Deadpool is really good. Deadpool yeah. is really good. Deadpool oh, was man. a cultural reset. <laughs> it is. Definitely. Yeah, man, I love it. <sighs> It's been a while since I've seen an American movie. I, uh, let's say if you think about a movie, you know, which one really stuck, uh, it's really stuck with you. Like it's it's like you c can never forget that movie. Love is blind. Let's say. Or American. Oh, American. Or, any, movie? any, really, any, any movie. Any, oh, any. Any. As soon as I think of a movie, I think of. Oh, do you? I love those movies. It's really like Rooney Kenshin. And Belle. Yeah, Love is Blind. Love is Blind. Yeah. I like that. That was really good too. Oh, what uh, is it, Tori? What movie? Love, Love is, is Blind. blind. It has Love Don is Blind. Bell. Yeah, Don Bell. Donnie Pumpkin uh, and uh, Bill Mariano. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Bro, I, I haven't even seen that. Oh it's, my gosh. It is really good. It gets you in your feelings. The uh, ending. Oh my No, there God. was a part where we pushed. Oh, no, don't spoil it for They me. had us. They had us. Let's yeah. just go with that. They had us going. <laughs> We Yo, yelled. okay. We were a little upset. Yes. I'm Love actually looking it up right now. Love is colorblind? Is that yes. what it is? Mm-hmm. Holy is crap. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Nice one. Man, this is the one, right? Yes. Yep. No. This one? Yes. Yep. 
Oh wow! I haven't. I have to see this with my wife. It's really okay. good. I love Donnie. Yeah. I mean, I love Selby, but Donnie. Their chemistry together is phenomenal. Yeah. They're okay. Their other their series season to her is really good as well. Yes, I cannot wait for season two. I know. Which one? What is it called? He's into her. He's into her. All yes. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. BGYO did the theme song yep. for. Um, you guys are so surprising, man. Like <laughs> I, I ask you some sur surprising things, and you you give me this unexpected <laughs> things like this one. Wow. No, I haven't even seen this too. You oh my too. gosh! <laughs> it is so good. And it has Joao, who oh, is just Joao. Uh, I love Joao from Bro Boy Band PH. Yeah. Ugh. Yo. Okay. Did you know that Justin actually auditioned for Boy Band PH? Did he? Yeah, he I did, and didn't. Get I didn't in. know that part. No. Yeah, oh. he did. <laughs> wow. But he didn't get in. I guess he was too young. But uh, yeah. It's okay. I, it's, okay. I, it's okay. It's destiny. <laughs> He's yeah. supposed to be SB. <laughs> Everything works out how it's supposed oh. to. Yes. Oh my God. This is so amazing to hear from you guys. That's just so. <laughs> How about the TV? Well, you've mentioned some TV series like that mm -hmm. one. Oh, we can name a lot. Uh, um, we can name a lot. Yeah. Okay. Which country do you want us to name from? <laughs> uh, we can do you have a whole library of things. We okay. China, Japan, Thailand. Thailand, or the Philippines. <laughs> Vietnam for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wow, you guys are so active. Mm -hmm. Um, like let's say let's just make it like if you think about a TV series, what is it? Like what what comes to your mind first? Like criminal something minds. that really hits you. Oh, I love Criminal Minds. Yes, Criminal Minds. Uh, criminal Bones, Minds. Supernatural. Mm -hmm. I like all. Oh, like those are stabby, stabby. Uh, yeah. Um, Vampire really Diaries. Ones. Or the originals. The originals. Yes. Um, Yo, those are some really good ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? And then I really like the first like drama I actually watched was Taiwanese called Devil Beside You, mm. which has a special place in my heart. Cause that's what really got me into you know Asian TV. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, Devil Beside You, I really like. Yeah, let's go with this. What's your favorite Japanese one? Um, my favorite Japanese is probably, oh I'm gonna say the movie with Sho Hirano that I just watched. Oh, that's not a series though. Um, series, series, series. God, there's so many. There is a lot. Uh, <laughs> Boys Over Flowers. I haven't seen the Japanese one of that. I'm totally blank with Japan. Let's go with Korean. Korean. Yeah. I really like Frozen Flower. Mm. I really like um uh 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 Lee Sung Gi's um Nine Child Fox one. Oh my god, what's it called? I don't know. Oh Gumio. Yeah, Gum oh. Gumiho. I fell yeah. in love with a Gumiho. Yeah. Is that yeah. is that what yeah. it is? Uh -huh. good. I've seen that, okay. Um let's wow, see. Okay. I like the movie Love and Last or Love and Leashes. TV series. I know this is TV series. It's, it's hard when I say Korean now. I'm thinking of Chinese and I'm like no. <laughs> but Chinese wise, it's Ashes to Love or Love to Ashes. Mm -hmm. I love that. I Chinese for me, I really liked. Um, oh my gosh, uh, uh, Smile. Where's your smile? Smile. <gasps> yes, that was good. Yeah, I really liked that one. I like romance series, yes. and then I like action like movies. Philippines wise, we watched a lot of BLs. Mm -hmm. um, I think favorite wise, since Game Boys was the first actually Filipino one that I've watched, I'm gonna mm -hmm. say Game Boys. Yeah. And then it's he's into her. Oh, he's into her. His <laughs> perfection. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Cool. There's a lot. We could go on. Like yeah, I have a list my, on my friend. My roommate is a Gumio is good. Uh, Oh, she's in the she, trap. Yeah, that was good too. I really like Semantic Era right now. Mm. It's a currently airing series. Okay. Have you seen Rainbow Prince? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, did you know that Justin's brother is actually there? Yes. We're, we're friends with Yan. Oh, <laughs> yo. Okay. Why did you give have him Wait. shout me out sometimes? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yanni to direct, direct Sean. Sean. Yeah, we interviewed Yanni and we asked him Yo. if he's interested he, in doing Tie the Knot, which is what we're co-producing. Yes, which he agreed to. 
But due to the whole situation, that had to kind of be put on hold and readjusted. So direct Sean asked him to join Rainbow Prince until Tie the Knot can be finished. Yep. Wow, I really need to be <laughs> nice to you guys from now on. Like, nice. <laughs> we, we normally, like, we're we don't, friends with a lot of people. We just don't, we don't advertise it. Like, I feel like that's the first time we've actually, like, said it. Because we've seen other, like, reactors or something, they broadcast. Yeah. If someone likes something, if someone comments back, or photos and all that. We, it's personal. Like, we yeah. both worked in the medical field, so we think that's, like, HIPAA. That's, like, um... Or, you know, private conversations. Yeah, it's more so like um, if, like, because we get invited to a lot of things. And, um, like, sometimes (laughs) um, what happens is, like, they'll say, you know, oh, don't share it, whatever. If And we see reactors sharing, like, oh, I'm going to be here. And it's like, you're not supposed to, they said not to share it. And we feel like it's just to kind of, like, get some clout going. And... For us, anything sent to us in a DM is kept private, regardless of who it's from, unless you're Neven, because that's getting exposed. Yes. But other than that, if you send us a private message, it stays private. We've had people tell us their life stories and how we've helped them. And like, we would never, ever, 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 ever broadcast anything sent to us privately because it's a private Respect. conversation. They sent it to yeah. us, not the world, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. And Absolutely also, commendable. I feel like when people see people boasting or, you know, oh my God, so-and-so like this, or oh my God, this happened, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I feel like a lot of fans want that interaction. And if they see the same person or people, group of people getting that reaction all the time, they're going to feel bad because they're like, oh, maybe I'm not getting it because I'm not a YouTuber. Maybe I'm not getting it because I don't have 50,000 Instagram followers. Mm -hmm. So we don't ever want people to feel bad because they don't get that reaction or that, you know what I mean? That plus SB19 also taught us to be very humble and thankful for what we do have. So it's Mm -hmm. like one of those things, like we don't want to like brag or anything like that. It's unnecessary. I don't like it. I I hate it. I hate that feeling. All right. Well, thank you. Well, that's really real, real talk right there for sure. I mean, <laughs> that's just commendable. It's hard to hold back, and some people really, you are actually correct. Some people, when they get a DM from their, you know, idols, they they broadcast it, right? Yeah. Um, and you holding back, we just found out that you actually are friends with Yanni. I mean, that's just insane. There got my mind blown <laughs> right there. So yeah, that's just amazing, guys. So thank you, thank yeah. you for sharing that I felt once again. Even saying it, to be honest, because like we don't broadcast anything. <laughs> well, I ask you, so you're not to blame. <laughs> you just have to. <laughs> okay. All right. So. We talked about friends and all that, but I want to talk about your your heart right now. Like, how's the status of your love life for bo- for both you? For for both y'all, not existent. Here's the status <laughs> of my love life. Okay. Johnny said he stole my heart, um, <laughs> and <laughs> um, I told him that when he's done with it, he can just hand it to Ken, because that's that's Yo. where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> Ken from SV19. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, not okay. Crazy. Um, but yeah, because you know we're single. You yeah. know we're busy with YouTube work, catching up, trying to get everything settled and situated, so we can go to the Philippines. Because when we go over to the Philippines, we're there for a whole year, which means we're quitting our jobs oh, here. Yeah. So wow. one of those things we have to get things lined up. Yeah, and we order. also don't want to start a relationship that we know we're gonna have to end. And- because you know. if everything goes how we want for the year in the Philippines, we're coming back, packing our stuff, and moving back to the yo. Philippines. Yo, that takes some guts right there, man. So like, I just yo, yeah. Man, um, I can't wait. I am gonna make sure to meet you guys oh, if that, that happens. That yeah. <laughs> yes. Yo, that's gonna be fire, man. Yeah. Something funny is I was actually proposed to this past week at work. Some guy came in. He was, Yo, you know, a little proposed? Younger than me. Not court, yeah. proposed. This proposed. is insane, bro. He asked me to elope to Vegas on his motorcycle. Yo, this is crazy, <laughs> I bro. I said no. <laughs> I apparently just 
<laughs> get people on the subway. Yeah. I had to I had to have Emmy save me. Yeah. I get a perverted oh, person on the subway. Yeah. Yo. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Oh, but it was okay. fun. It kind of made my... I was like, oh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah, forever, that's... but getting yeah. proposed to the middle of work. I was like, oh, that was... Yeah, <laughs> so you talked about your possible journey here in the Philippines. So what is, what is it really the the main goal of Mori Mori Entertainment? Also, hey, before you answer that, I'm actually curious how why Mori Mori? Why is it? That's a really catchy name. But how did you come up with it? <laughs> right, it's, it's people amazing. people call us like the Mori Mori girls, or like oh Mori Mori, what's up? And it's fun to say. Um, it is. But my name, my first name is actually Michelle. So we took the M from Michelle. I made my nickname Emmy because Michelle's just so long and boring. So I made it Emmy. It is and, actually kind of. <laughs> and my name's uh, Victoria, but I go by Tori. So we put the oh. M from my name to the end of her name and made it Maury. Yeah. Yo, clever. And there's yeah. two of you. That's why it's more Maury. Yeah, yeah. That's really. That's really cool. Okay. <laughs> so what is your main goal as a channel or as a platform? Let's say. Uh, we have a huge, 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 like, major... And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I love that. goal for our future. Um, we're not really... We can spill some. This is... This is uh, okay. We'll you spill don't have to spill... Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm loving this. You guys are so passionate. Okay. Um, all I'm going to say... Well, not all I'm going to say, <laughs> but um, our big goal is we want to be able to produce series and other things that we're interested in in the future. Huh? Yo. Okay. Like, because uh, we do love music, so we want to produce series. Um, we're also interested in producing a group ourselves in the future. Yo. So, Yo. Yeah. So it's called That's Young Big Boy Already. Entertainment. Because from the minute we talked, we wanted to kind of set up, not kind of, but this is the first time we're spilling it on anywhere other than our friends. <laughs> our, You're, um, you definitely were cooking something, are cooking something. <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. We actually want to open our own entertainment company yes. in the future. And it would be Yo. called Mori Mori Entertainment. <laughs> that is sick, bro. I just got chills right there. I mean, I love that goal. I mean, you are such inspirations and you are also at the same time inspired to do something even bigger. That's just so awesome. Yo, I love that. I can't wait for, for that to unfold and I will be there like saying that, hey, we just talked about this in an interview and that right now it's happening. Like, I can't wait for that moment, man. Like, bro, that gets me excited. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing a little bit. And that's even just a part of it, right? So, yeah. oh, yeah. My Lord. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm that's, hyped for sure. That's the future goal. Our main goal right now is just kind of uh, exposing and well, getting more exposure to groups that we love and kind mm -hmm. of helping get music that might not be as well known more well known you know and that's our current like main goal now is just music. kind of try and get people interested in what we're interested in and share what we're interested in because music at the end of the day is very um uh universal i feel like it is it's one of those things whether you understand the language or not you can feel what the song yeah. is bringing to you and i feel like a lot of people if an international reacts to any type of music that isn't american um, or whatever country they're from, they immediately get hated on at times. I could tell, well, I can't tell you, actually, the number of times we've been told that uh, we shouldn't react to Filipino music, that we're sucking on the Filipino teeth, and I'm just like, I can probably name more artists than you can. You know what I mean? Like, I, we generally love the music. I'm the type of person where if I don't like something, I will not waste my time on it at all, period. I don't care if you're a person, I don't care if you're a thing, I don't care if you're music, whatever. I won't waste my time mm -hmm. you know life's too short mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah that's real talk that's commendable but there are some people that uh react to things even if they don't like it because oh, it gets clicks we know. <laughs> we know and we state that all the time you have to be able to tell the difference of who's sure or not yeah 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 so. man that's such thank you so much for answering that question really inspiring goals you got there and uh <laughs> 
Wow. So I want to break the ice a little bit this time. Right. We've talked so much, you know, seriousness, and I love it. But <laughs> I want I want us to, you know, take it easy. And uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and play this. It's the, I, the SB19 Joa or Tropa game. So okay. um, I'll show you a few pictures of SB19 members, and right. uh, you'll tell them if it's if he's a Joa or a Tropa material. Joa means boyfriend material. <sighs> Or a partner material, or Tropa as best friend material. Okay, right? and it's just so, based on the picture we see, right? Uh, not really. If you know the okay. person, like you can, you can base it with that as well, okay. and you can have as many Joa or Tropa as, as you want. We're okay. just interested to hear the reasons behind choosing okay. the, the 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 thing. Okay, so let me uh, go ahead and get that kicked off here. Give me a few secs. So let's go ahead and start with this dude. Who answers oh, first? He's a Joa. Yeah, <laughs> Joa for Tori. Okay, why? Why? He's one of my biases. Like, it's just something about him. Anything he does, his personality and everything, he's very caring. He's very thoughtful, very kind. He just. Uh, I can't <laughs> explain it, okay? All right. Now, well, he's you know. definitely. Yeah, definitely a uh, Joa material because he is very mature too, and I love um, it. you you have the assurance that you'll be fine if you're with him. So. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> How about you? How about you, Emmy? What do you think? Just thinking about the conversations we could have, like he's so, just, he's a genius, and <laughs> I feel like he would, like you said, like take good care of his significant other, and um, you know, make sure that you know they're secure in the relationship and things like that and that's that's what i like you know he's nice he's funny he's cute he's he's perfect <laughs> all right cool let's go ahead and take a look at the next picture um <laughs> uh, uh, i'm gonna say best friend okay i'm gonna say joa because that's just me Okay, best friend Tori, why? Because, let me just tell you, my boyfriend kept showing off his ads all the time to everyone. I'm going to get a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, those are my... <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not, because... <laughs> they're, they're mine, actually, now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, how about you, uh, Emmy? Why Joa? Like, um, well, any reasons behind it? Saying, I real like I don't really get jealous. Um, I tell anybody I'm dating up front that if they find somebody that they like more than me, or if they ever want to cheat, I've never been cheated on. But if they ever want to cheat, then call me, break up with me, and then do what you got to do because I'd rather that than get cheated on. You know, and like I said, I don't waste my time on things that I don't like or on you know people who don't want to be in my life. So with that being said, um, I don't really get jealous easily. So him showing his abs isn't really that big of a problem for me. <laughs> um, but again, like he's very mature. He has a good head on his shoulders. Yeah. Um, he knows what he wants to do and he does it. And yeah, that, that All and, right. you know, he's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a very good decision maker he has gone through a lot so yeah, yeah. that makes sense mm -hmm. all right i love those insights but what about this dude <laughs> that's husband material <laughs> okay um, okay since okay go ahead i'm scared i'm just gonna say best friend material. <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to die <laughs> Husband, why husband, Emmy? Um, I like his personality a lot. Like he's very, like people say he's very quiet in interviews, and I feel like newer fans think that he's quiet and stuff like that. Like when they go back and watch interviews, but I think it's really honestly because he really like thinks a lot. Like he has a lot in his head, and he doesn't want to say like the wrong things or make trouble for his group. And uh. I feel like we kind of share like similar similar personalities. I'm a little more vocal than he is um, <laughs> about my opinions, but I feel like as far as like thoughts, thought process, things like that, we're quite similar. And um, he's so funny, 
and you guys can go to a tattoo uh, place yeah. together and, and get he, tattoos. He has a tattoo, yeah. you know. But um, okay. I, I, I like and his laugh, his laugh. Yeah, like he's like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> well, okay. Basically, Tor just told me why why best best friend because you're just kidding. <laughs> <I don't laughs> <know>. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's proceed to the next picture then. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say best friend, <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> this picture in particular, he gives off the boyfriend vibe. She talked about this picture for days. Little days. Why are you calling me out? Because you call me out all the time. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> this is when he started acting up. Yes. He decided okay. he didn't want to be a bonzo anymore. He wanted eyes on him. Yeah, and eyes were on him. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, that in the shallow. Oh my god, the shallow color. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Justin also, he's just... He, just like Pablo, he's very sweet and kind, but mm -hmm. he also has like that playful side and creative side that I feel like he sat down, like you said with Pablo. Mm -hmm. um, like we want to do series and such like that our minds and the creativeness we could create some epic things yeah we want yeah, him a musical yeah we really do him and style need to be in a musical oh my gosh yo that's gonna be sick mm -hmm. all right okay okay gotcha how about this one hubby <laughs> hubby material <laughs> I'll, I'll say boyfriend i'll say boyfriend <laughs> i'm not scared of Tori. That's boyfriend material. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? He would make a good husband, though. Right. He would. He would. I'll let you go. <laughs> um. So he, again, very sweet, kind. Um. He's very funny. Uh, handsome. He is. Um. He's driven. Um. Mature again. I feel like I'll, all the SB19 members are very mature. They've all been through so much. He can bake. Uh, he can bake. He can bake, yeah, mm -hmm. and cook too. Yeah, oh man, yeah. imagine okay. that. Like oh. him serving you food in the morning when you yes. wake up. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I feel like Yo. he'd be a good dad. Yeah. I mean, I feel like oh, he'd yeah, be too. all the members. Absolutely. Like, he just gives off that. But yeah. Oh. Taking the kids to like the park and playing pushing pretend. them on the swing. I can playing see that with oh Stel. Oh my god, I can see playing pretend, yeah. and having little tea parties with his daughter or something mm -hmm. like that. I can picture it all yeah all right cool yeah and he is sup he's a person that when you go to a party the party is immediately like a blast because yeah. of him yeah he's just he's just so he, he just lifts up the energy uh yeah. with, with the people like around him so yes i love he it he is yo <laughs> man um this was supposed to be the last picture but a lot of people is requesting one more picture for me to show you guys so. oh gosh <laughs> this I'm is a bit embarrassing it. but <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> now, I, I have no idea who that could be. Oh, who, 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 who could that be? Who, who, who are you? I'm gonna say, you know, I heard that this person's married. Ah, yes. So I'm gonna say best friend yes i get that vibe yeah like he would be a great best friend yeah <laughs> however if they for some reason we're not married you know pre-marriage pre-marriage okay i could see boyfriend material uh, yeah you know great personality mm -hmm. funny cute super nice mm -hmm. yeah great okay great advice entertaining but because they're married best friend yeah definitely best friend I, I <laughs> all right okay enough with that guys <laughs> <laughs> the people in the chat are like really f making fun of me now but <laughs> yeah <laughs> but thank you thank you for for giving your feedback that was fun got me a little sweaty <laughs> <But> <laughs> oh man so let's move on to sb19 questions what's your most favorite the, the the best reaction like you can give me one of each or if you don't if you have different ones but can you tell me what's your favorite reaction you have ever done with sb19 the shallow co cover with Stell and Justin. Oh, oh man, that was that... so good. <laughs> Justin. Oh man, it was his eyes. His eyes. We about <laughs> died. That and um, love goes. Love. Oh. Oh. Love goes. Love goes. The uh, was it the YTFF YouTube fan fest? 
or uh, no, it was the, um, the actual um, the Love Ghost music video. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Or it was like a performance okay. version. Or yeah, something. performance. Mm -hmm. I really like that EDM. one. EDM. The EDM version. EDM version. Dark, dark EDM version. Yeah, and wow. then um, Go Up, of course. Yes. That's what got us into SB19 no. and really opened up a lot of doors for us. And Wow. Yeah. Go Up, this is the dance practice one? No, it was or the, the, music, the video. music video. Music. How about oh, the yellow hat? That's a TikTok. Was, that's a TikTok. Yeah, so there's a spell TikTok where he had a yellow hat on. He's doing a lot of hip motions. And we reacted to it. And I was like, the hat, the hips, the hips of the hat, the hat. Or like, I was like, should I look the hat, the hips, the hips, the hat? And it's like a going kind of <laughs> joke on our channel about it. Okay. That's really cool. Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that to us. And what will you do if SB19 holds a concert in your, let's say, in your state? Make it easier. Uh, and you are their to tour guide. State. Because you have a, an entertainment company, right? Like, let's say you get to tour them. Okay. So wh what, will you, what will you do? Well, first, we live in Delaware, so we're going to change our state to New York City. Well, yeah. New York. Yeah. Because um, there's nothing to do here. Exactly. Um, but we would... For if if we had like company financials, all that was like good to go. Yeah, we would show them the time of their lives. I would want to take Justin to a Broadway play. Yes, this stuff. Yo, I would, like, all of them. I would be sick. Yeah, um, just, Korean barbecue because we love that Korean barbecue. Yeah, there, place. we have a favorite Korean barbecue place called Miss Korea in New York, and it's so good. That was actually the first. Korean restaurant we ate at together mm -hmm. and we go every time we go to New York we go back there um I have an ajuma who always gives me free soju so you know that's good stuff oh, yeah it's so good it's delicious um but yeah take them there take them to like some uh you know get them a New York hot dog and you know yeah that was a sushi and bento which is a oh good. yes yeah Such that's good ramen time. um yeah we have to take um Ken to like the ramen bar and just really show them more than just the tourist spots mm -hmm. you know we because when we come to the philippines we don't want to just do the touristy things we want to do we want to live like the locals we want to go to the local hangouts we want to you know do the local things i also want to go to that haunted place yeah um it's like a the um man like okay that was burnt or something yeah a hotel but we want to do like haunted Haunted places. Yeah, so. I'm a big baby. I'm scared of ghosts. <laughs> All right. Paralysis. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was really, really interesting, and that's so awesome. I hope that happens soon. That's not <laughs> well, really far from reality. Actually, ME started for um, us over here. We put in a what was it? Oh, um, there's something you, you can do. It's called My Music Taste, and um, basically what it is 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 you pick a city mm -hmm. that's near you or you know wherever you want to go and you can request an artist to tour there and normally people do new york la chicago atlanta and dallas mm -hmm. those are the five tour stops and so i made a couple for sb19 and it just kind of helps the management know like where their fans are so mm -hmm. like if it gets enough um, votes, my music taste will contact SB, SB19's management and be like, hey, you know, you have this many fans here who want to see them, why don't you come tour? Mm -hmm. And then they kind of set it up to where SB19 would come here and tour. So we're hoping. Yeah. Uh, listen, All right. I would get, try and get every single stop, <laughs> every stop VIP yep. tickets. <laughs> don't, don't toy with us, we will go. No stop, full blast. Mm -hmm. All don't right. <laughs> Amazing. That's just amazing. You guys wow. are so passionate. I love that. Okay. So if you meet your SB19 bias in person, it's, it's, it's in connection to that. Absolutely. So what will you tell them? Like, let's say you saw them first and then like you're in a room and what would you say to them first? The first thing that would come out of my, my mouth is, oh my God. <laughs> 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 that are probably the oh, would be honestly the first thing that came out. But um, I would be like, Hi, very shy. I would. I would be shy. Like I, I feel like people don't think I'm shy, but I'm shy. 
Especially in front of like guys I like until I get to know them better. I'm also the type of person I would be like, I want to thank you guys honestly for mm -hmm. all you do, for everything. Like you impacted us so much. We know that you impacted so many others. Mm -hmm. Like thank you for keeping us on like this path, you know? Mm -hmm keeping us when we feel like we were straight away, coming back, being hopeful again, and continue to tread along our hardships. Yeah, but if I if I saw Ken specifically, I would just say that I'm proud of him. I would also awesome. hide behind Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hide behind Tori because I'm not five Aww. feet tall. I'm five two, thank you. <laughs> All right, okay. Wow, <laughs> that's just, what you said there most especially the first one we say oh my god that's exactly what i felt i want to say when i met them in person finally like oh my god really for <laughs> sure <laughs> yeah man i was so, so jealous when i saw that uh, <laughs> i was like man he's living the dream right <laughs> so if you could give a physical gift to sb19 what would it be and why a physical gift yeah. Mm. So it could be anything physical, like a thing, not money, but a thing. I because, I don't know if yeah. I would do this, but I think it would be kind of cool to make like your own photo card and give it because like in K-pop, I don't know about with Filipino artists, but in K-pop, you get like photo cards of the members in the albums that you buy and a lot of people collect them. So I just think it'd be cool to kind of make your own photo card to give, you know, That'd be cool. I don't think I would do, like, that's not the thing I would give, but I think that's cool. I would want to make something, most definitely, mm -hmm. as well. Like, I don't know if it would be a blanket or something, but, like, I know originally Emmy and I were trying to make something SB19 related. Like, these were our test dummies. These aren't SB19 related. But we were thinking of, like, doing little phone cases. Mm -hmm. okay. um, yeah, so they're, oh, oh, mine's actually coming apart. Well, like, Okay. Oh, really? But cool, we wanted man. like SB19 related mm -hmm. type stuff. Like, I would want to make something. Yeah, maybe I'd make a painting mm -hmm. or, you know, something that, you know, um, they inspired me to make. Or, I mean, there's five of them. It's not too biased, it's the SB19. Mm -hmm. um, if I could give them my heart, I would. <laughs> <laughs> you you kind of need yeah, your heart to live. <laughs> um. Yeah, definitely something handmade for sure. Yeah, okay. I feel like that's It puts special. more thought and I feel like, yeah, it's more special. They see that you took the time, the effort to mm -hmm. really sit down and think about it. Because anyone can go out and buy, buy a watch or, yeah. you know, buy this, buy that. But to actually sit there and think, you know, what would they like mm -hmm. and then do that, you know. Or maybe okay. write a song for them. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. So I just want to give a shout out to one of my friends, Cherry. He act uh, she actually gave Stell this. And Stell actually has it displayed in her condo. In his oh! condo. Wow. So just, you know, that's really cool. Because Stell likes cool. anime too. Uh, ah! This is the dragon from Dragon, dragon Ball Z. Z. Yeah, so Stell had it displayed. It just made me wow, proud, man. That like, is uh, nice. It's that really is cool. Really cool. <laughs> oh, so, wow. Yeah, so shout out to Cherry, and um, I love your thoughts, guys. Those hand handcrafted things definitely mm -hmm. puts a lot more. You know, it means a lot more because you you made it yourself. Yeah. So yeah, it now, makes if sense. I'm like out somewhere, and I see something, I'm like, oh, I think you know Ken would like that, or oh, I think you know, because if we go out and we see something each other likes, we buy, we're like, oh, it. here. Yeah. You know, I thought I saw this and thought she'd like it. Mm -hmm. You know, something like that, I would do too. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So, what is your message to SB19? Like, what do you want to say to them? Like, I think you've already said something when I, I asked you about, yeah. you know, I, I but... I think for me, I just want to tell them how thankful I am for everything that they've taught us. Um, stay humble, be thankful, stay positive, work through the hard times. Like, these messages are what keeps us going to and also resets us if we feel like we're straying off the wrong path again it resets us mm -hmm. so honestly it's those words and watching them and seeing that they can do it and they sincerely sincerely care about their fans and their passion for what they're doing because mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say like there are other groups out in the world that just do it to do it 
mm-hmm. get famous and that's it. But they're doing it because they love it. And they sincere, sincerely, oh my God, I can't speak. I uh, sincerely love their fans. Mm-hmm. It's what keeps us going. All right. Cool. My message would be, I'm proud of them. Um, that they are strong and that they have overcome a lot. Yes. And that we as fans will always be here for them. Um, and I'm excited to see where they go from here because we got into them like a, a couple weeks after we started our channel and just seeing their growth both like in the Philippines and internationally has been Insane. crazy just in the last year alone mm-hmm. and yeah. it's just <clears throat> exciting to know where they're going to go from here so I would say I'm proud of you and I'm excited for the ride <laughs> yeah man we're all here for it mm-hmm. all right Amazing, amazing answers right there. And what's your message to the fans? We love you. <laughs> yeah. They're the best. Yeah. We are all fans together, you know, yeah. admiring SB19, right? And we're all uh, family yeah. at the end mm-hmm. of the day. We're a family. Yes. Exactly. We're family and don't listen to people who don't know us. There's people who talk crap on us as a fandom. I will admit every fandom has toxic fans that's just how it is you know mm-hmm. and normally that's a very like the toxic fans there aren't many mm-hmm. but unfortunately <laughs> negativity and you know problems is what people like it's what gets mm-hmm. reactions it's what gets you know views and stuff like that so people outside of the fandom they see that and they're like yeah. oh the whole fandom's that way mm-hmm. and it's not true so if you know you're a kind, caring person and you know that you're just supporting SB19 in the best way you can, then ignore the hate, ignore the people who talk crap, send them to me and I'll like go off on them mm-hmm. and hey. we'll keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's so good. How about you, Tori? She says everything. <laughs> <laughs> Half the time she says it all. Yeah. <laughs> so there's really nothing for me to say because she says it all. Yeah. All right. That's okay. That's absolutely fine. Okay. So next thing we're going to play is let's go ahead and play the game Guess the SB19 song in one second. All right. So oh. let's do it a little bit of a competition. Earlier you were tied, but this time let's see who wins. All oh. right. <laughs> so let me just uh, do this here. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me just uh, do this and turn off the music. So if you do, if you guys don't know the answer, you can take a look at the live chat. Whoever just guesses it right gets a point. All right. Don't look at the so, live chat, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay, go. Hmm? No, so okay. Much. <laughs> it's a long month. I was yeah. too fast. Right. Okay, well, I was Tori. My answer. I was like, what the heck? I, I'm, okay. I'm, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. I'm stunned by her response. Wow. Let's go ahead and find out. Hey, it's definitely Salama. I'm going to go for Salama. Oh, wait, wait. What? I can't. <laughs> All right. Tori gets the point for now. Salahat ng Salama. All right, let's do the next one. Ooh. Can you play one more time? Ooh. I, Sounds like a ballad song to me. Yeah, Hanging Sahuli. I don't know. Let's I'm, hear it again. Uh, Last time. It's not Tilluha. Uh, it, it, it is Tilluha. Oh, this okay. You yeah. answered together there, okay. Yeah! yeah. I feel like Alright, one point for both of you. Um, one, two so far. Let's go ahead and find out the next one. Oh, uh, wa- Waka Kagamoka. I, I can't pronounce it, but it's the Waka. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's like I one of their song. older songs. Okay, I, I'm gonna, I I'm gonna say that you definitely I know what it is, sir. All right, 
right, so I'm giving this point to Emmy since uh, I definitely knew what she was talking about yeah. and she answered I first. I didn't know how to pronounce the name, so when yeah. I don't know how to pronounce something, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're tied now at 2-2. Two, two. Let's go to the next one. Ooh. <gasps> oh, wait, wait. I hate these one-second things. <laughs> I know you know, I know it. It's I, wrong. I I know it. <laughs> okay, I'll play one more time for you guys. Go up. Okay, go up for Emmy. All right. I don't think that's it. Oh, it is go up. <laughs> All right. Okay. So three, two. Emmy's leading so far. I feel like I'm being okay. tested, and I don't do well with tests. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're just having fun here. <laughs> just a friendly competition. All right. Let's go to the next one. Palayo. Oh. Okay. That's my man. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was so fast. It's her man. It's her man. <laughs> I was fast with this cat. I feel like I can't be watching. <laughs> wow. No, Without any watch. hesitation at all, like Paleo, the moment she heard it. Like, <laughs> she didn't even let it. She didn't even she try to hear, like, hear it. <laughs> I can't hear man. Man, four two. She's crushing it, man. Tori, you gotta it's pick fine, it up. Fine. She can crush it. <laughs> she can crush it. I give it her. Uh, all right, next one. Oh, that's oh, a bit of love, build up. Love goes. Every day. Oh yeah. It's the singer. Oh. Yeah, it's the Yeah, yeah. Every day. Okay. That's my favorite. Oh. All right, you're singing all the way. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, uh, Tori three, uh. Emmy four points. That's You're fine. catching up here. It. All right. I know it's okay. She can win. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Yo. What? <laughs> All right, that was so cool. Both of you get a point. Yes. <laughs> all right, four three now. Um, all right, let's go. Oh no, actually it's five four. Okay. <laughs> Either or. It's Mappa. Oh, okay. Emmy answered first. Yeah, she can have it. I was just saying. <laughs> All right, I mean, good job. I remember crying during the weird video. All right, congratulations, Amy. Well, you guys definitely uh, proven that uh, you, you know their songs. You even knew the oldest one, the Wagmo Ikuno Tengi Uno. That was tough to guess. Most guests actually I love that didn't song. guess it. It's so upbeat. So you... Like, I knew it. I just don't know the, how to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time where I tried to make it my mission to learn how to pronounce that, and I just. <sighs> I if she can't pronounce it, I definitely can't. 
<laughs> all right cool that was so fun thank you guys for participating i really appreciate that yeah. so we'll do a little q a with the viewers we'll answer three questions from them um i already found one question from earlier which is pretty interesting from gokai shout out to you gokai was asking earlier what would you do if your bias wings at you in person faint <laughs> faint <laughs> i would get like stuck i'd be like Hi. Uh, <laughs> I would be like, no, he did not. I'm going to Oh. Actually, I would freak out. Because um, we went to a concert recently for 80s, and I had VIP, so I got to like go through a fan like meet type thing. And I said, son, I love you. And he was like, I love you too. And I was like, ah! Oh, so man. I would freak out. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh. my gosh. All right, cool. Okay, guys, do you have any other questions that you want? You might want to ask them. Let's go. Let's go ahead and ask them now. Oh, I found one. All right, I already found one. Let me just find that here. Where is it? Okay, we have a question from Queen Elizabeth Lee. So for Emmy, what's the best thing to do to recover from painful experiences, especially to the ladies out there who might share the same experience? Oh. Everyone's different. The way they cope is different. Like I said, I kind of put mine in a box. Um, but that's just kind of how I am as a person. Um, I would say... I also... A lot of times when it happens, people do want to hurt themselves. And I wasn't that way because I know my value. And just because, you know, that happened to me, it doesn't decrease my value as a person, you know? So I felt... I never felt the need to harm myself. I never felt like there was anything wrong with me. Um, so I don't, if you know, you go through that situation, which I hope never happens, or if you have gone through that, I'm sorry, but just know that you, know, you are loved and don't hurt yourself because then the abuser wins and you know you have a life to live you were put on this earth for a reason and it wasn't to be hurt by others it was to contribute to society and be a good person so don't let other people and their actions towards you ruin your life because you only have one life to live and yes that's a moment that happened yes it's painful but there's so many other good things that you can do for the world that you know you're needed in the world so if you need like if you feel like you need to talk to somebody do it um, our DMs are always open. Sometimes it takes us a bit to reply back, but um, you know we're always here. Even if you just want to send a message, just kind of venting, that's fine, you know. And okay. you can just be like, this is just to vent, because we won't share it, we won't talk mm -hmm. about it. We, we might talk about it with each other, but we would never talk about it on camera. And it's just nice sometimes to be able to vent to somebody you don't know personally that you've never seen. So if you ever want to just vent to us send us a message and just, you know, let it out, you know, whatever you feel you need to do to keep on going, do it. All right. Cool. Yeah. Oh, or man. if you need to like see a therapist, that's what I meant by talking. Yeah. If you ever need okay. to talk to somebody then or get help, right. or, you know, do it. Some be, really good advice right there. Don't, don't let the stigma around mental health and all that scare you away. There's nothing wrong with needing help. Nothing. You know, so I don't understand the stigma around mental health and why it seems to be like uncool to be, you know, a week at first. I don't understand why it's like uncool, so to speak, to get mental health. If you need it, get it, you know, don't care what other people say. At the end of the day, you need to do what's best for you. So if that's All getting right. help, do it. If that's sending a message to somebody you don't know personally that you've never seen in your life, just venting, do it, you know, All right. but you're important to the world. Awesome. Some really good advice right there, guys. Thank you for the question. And we have another one here. Very interesting. If you are to name your channel Mori Mori Entertainment differently, what would it be? So, okay. <laughs> That's um, a tough question, I guess. Or maybe... Mori Mori Productions. Too. Yeah, we have a second channel called Mori Mori Productions, which is like Ooh. where we would be doing our... Because we have everything mapped out in our heads. That would be like the production side of Mori Mori Entertainment for... <laughs> series is and then we'll have one for music. music and everything like that later on yeah but i don't mm. know what would, if we weren't mori mori what would we be like change mori mori nothing <laughs> honestly it took us forever to forever. even agree on that and funny thing though is mori mori means 
death death in latin apparently yeah and it Yo. also means forest forest in japanese yeah maury's death in latin it's forest in japanese yeah um i think that's all we looked up i think so but yeah. um yeah i don't know whoa, 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 whoa. okay i don't know that's I cool just, i mean it's just us it's rolls off the tongue yeah i don't know what yeah. else. what do you guys think we would be what, what do you guys <laughs> think our name should have been the two crazy chicks <laughs> <Something>. <laughs> but man I, I totally agree that's a fair answer absolutely mm -hmm. so um what is your fandom name then Morinators or do you uh, have a meteorites. yeah we don't have a fandom we have a fandom because everybody's our family we don't have, we don't have fans um right. we always correct people when they say that but they're called meteorites and they actually voted for it mm -hmm. they came up oh. with it and they also voted for it yes and oh, one of the reasons okay. we were happy with it is because um everybody goes through struggles and a meteorite is something that you know literally gone through earth's atmosphere and hit earth and like it's still here mm -hmm. so it kind of suited us because we've been through a lot and we're still here and we know that our family on youtube and other platforms have also been through a lot and they're still here so fighting strong like meteorites <laughs> all right cool that's really an awesome thing well, that's what i did as well with mine casuals is my uh, fam dumb name mm -hmm. and they voted for it they came up with it so yeah no regrets it's, it's really cool and yeah. catchy mm -hmm. so yeah okay so i have oh some really interesting questions here if you get a chance to join an sb19 carpool karaoke what song would you request them to sing for you like not sb19 song oh oh um i would want like a I would like Ed, um, Ed Sheeran. Sheeran, Shape of You. Oh, like that oh wow, that's gonna be sick. Oh man. Right. Okay. <laughs> Yo. What would I want? What would I want? There's, I don't listen to a lot of American music these days. Um, I would want. I would want. I would want. I, I don't know. I don't know what I would want. No, no, Dennis. <laughs> Dennis said, "What if Ken ends up liking Tori and still courting Emmy?" No. I <laughs> no <laughs> way. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, Dennis, Dennis, man. I don't know. I had a song in my head, and now I can't remember what it was. I have ADHD, so my brain like forgets things. Oh, I can't remember what it was. I have a feeling you would choose a one OK Rock song. Oh, Ken. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah. yeah, man. With Ken's voice, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm written in the right. stars. Written in the stars. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Mhm. Mm I don't know. We're a love song, of course. And you would specifically want Ken to sing it to you. I, <laughs> I want them all to sing me a love song. Okay. With Ken in the all center. Right. <laughs> all right. Cool. Okay. Not so awesome. So, um, what else we got here? What? One last question, guys. One last question. Um. Let's see here. If you could write a song, what would the title be? Ooh. Interesting um, question. Hmm. Muse. Muse? That was my muse. Muse. Is it like a life title? Like, song of our life? Or like whatever. Or SB19? I'm doing really whatever SB19. One. They're my muse. <laughs> hmm. They're my inspiration. I feel like I would do, if I wrote a life song, it would be called like Calm in the Chaos <laughs> or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then for okay. SB 19, it would be called Wrecked. Wrecked. <laughs> You're wrecked All by right. you. Wrecked. wrecked. Okay, that's a, yeah, a really cool little title. Okay, <laughs> I like that. All right. That, that's the Q&A right there, guys. Thank you for the interesting questions. I couldn't have, couldn't have come up with that. Really cool. It adds uh, a little bit more depth to them uh, for us to get to know them as uh, people. And now let's go ahead and play our next icebreaker. So this will be our last one. Okay, so the, the, we've been live two hours now. That, that time really flew by fast, when, especially when you're enjoying the conversation. So yeah. I'm really yeah. lucky to have you guys. <laughs> yeah, normally we're live for like five hours because we end up having so much fun oh wow 
So. Five hours. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> okay. So we'll go ahead and play the last uh, last one. It's called SB19, Would You Rather? So I will present you two situations that involve SB19. Or um, it would be involving them or a real life situation with you guys. So, um, and I would let you choose and ask you why you chose that situation. All right. So let me go ahead and uh, do the first one. All right. So, if you were to be in a reality show, uh, a real uh, a reality show with SB19, what type of show would you want to be in? Would it be a survival show, like stuck in an island kind of thing, or a dating show? I feel like survival would be really fun. That's what I'm thinking. But also to have the chance to be like dating yeah. SB19 would also be like amazing. I would pick dating because we could always do like a survival type date. You know what I mean? And still get that survival experience. I wanted to choose dating, <laughs> but I just feel like survival, I could get closer with them, mm -hmm. different situations, and then the bond can carry on after the program. Mm -hmm. And then I can make my connection. So I'm possibly dating. After so work. you're opposite. I oh. Would <laughs> and do like different like survival <laughs> things as dates and you would start with survival and end up dating. Yes. <laughs> oh, some very interesting creative answers there. Okay, got that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and let, take a look at the next choices. Okay, so this is uh, talking in general, right? If you, you, if you are looking for uh, an ideal partner in life, would you prefer someone who has a long hair or short hair? I really don't care um, on Pablo specifically. I really like his long hair, <laughs> but oh, okay. yeah, hair preference doesn't really matter to me. I don't really judge either, but if I had to choose between these two, I love both. Pablo rocked both, yes. but in the specific photos that you have here, I'm going to go with short. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Short and uh, Emmy doesn't matter, long. right? Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Next one. Ooh. So, when dating someone, would you want someone who's younger than you or older than you? I've never dated somebody older than me. They've always been younger. Oh, okay. So younger. I dated both. Which all of SB19 is younger than us, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I've always... I'm both. Mm -hmm. um, Which do you prefer? Oof. I'm gonna say my longer, my longest relationship was, was with someone who was almost like a year older than me. So I'm gonna go with older, just because that's my longest relationship. Mm -hmm. oh, so I'm gonna okay. go with older, and I'm younger. Uh, all right, cool. I like that. Okay. <laughs> We're opposite. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and they attract. Yeah. All right, this one. Would you want a country, a country boy, or a city dweller? We're actually we live in an area that's considered like the country. Yeah. So, city. Yeah, I. Again, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It's like personality wise, but we if we want to live in the city. Yeah. So as long as for me personally, as long as they can adjust to living in a city, or they already live in a city, even if they come from the country, that's mm -hmm. fine. All right. Same and thing, you two, but Tor in this situation, if I had to choose between, I'm gonna go with city. Yeah. If I had to choose Ooh. between these picks right here, right now, country. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you for your insights. I love that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Oh, all right. Would you rather <laughs> receive the first move or make the first move? <laughs> <laughs> The way Ken's smiling is killing me. Um, so, oh my god. I want to receive the first move because then I know where the boundaries are kind of set. If I make the first move, I don't know where I stand with them already. Mm -hmm. For me, I also like to receive the first move. I rarely, rarely make the first move myself. Um, just because, it, yeah, like Tori said, I like kind of knowing where I stand. And I don't ever want to do something to somebody that if I'm not sure they'll like. So I would rather receive the first move, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, that makes sense. Absolutely. Um, as 
as a typical woman should, right? Yeah. But <laughs> if someone prefers to have the, the first move, it's already fine. I mean, nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that, to be mm -hmm, honest. Exactly. If you are yeah, courageous, I mean, then you may go. <laughs> yeah, if you like making the first move, go for, go it. for it. You are more brave yeah, than I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, next one. I'm really liking the answer. So entertaining. Okay, would you rather hold hands or have your arm wrapped wrapped around? I would rather hold hands. Okay. Ah, uh, especially would... if walking. Because okay. walking with like arms wrapped, unless you're walking like same leg, it's kind of awkward. I want to go with. I don't know. It depends. If we're just standing, I want the arms wrapped around. Yeah. If, yes. Yeah, if we're standing. standing I would say arm, but mm -hmm. if we're like walking or moving or like, you know, I don't know. I cling, I cling to you like this. She, she does cling to me a lot. <laughs> Are you dissonant? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I like holding hands too. I like don't do that, but no. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay. Some people doesn't like holding hands because their arm, arm, uh, your, their hands get sweaty, uh, real quick, sweat, just so. like mine's, but so yeah. Okay. Your answers make sense. So thank you for that. Let's go ahead and check the next one. Ooh, would you rather have the lights on or lights off? Well, it depends <laughs> on the context, really. <laughs> I, I, but, I'm gonna say I like a little mood lighting. Mood lighting, okay. okay so like not fully on, but semi like yeah. LED light. Yes, but also I like lights off. Yeah, lights, yeah. lights yeah. off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, lights off. Yeah. All right. No perfections I'm... are being shown. That's that's not why. <laughs> that's the context of what you think of lights off. I feel like uh, you just your senses are yeah you know heightened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. A lot of people in the live chat are saying they like the mood lights or dim yeah. lights. Okay. All right. Interesting. Well, <laughs> I'm just curious. When you sleep, do you prefer the lights on or off? I I, I sleep with a night light because I'm scared of the dark. I have like, the TV on. <laughs> Um, okay. So that's my light. Mm -hmm. I, I have no sound on it. It's just like on for a little bit of light and mm -hmm. I have fans going. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I have to have cool. something. I need to be able to see. I live by myself. So. Yeah. I sleep with a little light. Mm -hmm. Some of the oh. All right. I also sleep with the lights on actually because mm -hmm. I hate the dark, man. I, yeah. I easily get scared. <laughs> I don't blame so. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Next one. I think this next one is a little bit of a... Okay, I'm just gonna give you a context first because people like to get ahead of themselves in the live chat. So this okay. is a situation when when Stell gives you a watermelon and this is what sh uh, this is when you decide what to do with the watermelon seeds, all right? <laughs> okay. Oh, not this one. Uh, not not this one. Is it, actually, this is not the last one just yet. Okay, let's not talk about that. The, the, the one I just talked about, it will be the last one. I think this is the second to last one. So, would you rather get a kiss from one of them or $5,000? A kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. No hesitation, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why? Why? Why not? 5K is like a big, uh, big amount of money. Especially thinking about us right now in our situation, 5K is a lot. But I feel like... It, SG19, any of the members wouldn't kiss you unless they had like a connection with you, and that connection is worth way more than five thousand dollars. All right, okay, well said. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. People, some people are saying five k. All right, okay, that's okay. Uh, hey. <laughs> that's fine. It makes sense. If it was some other men up on the screen, my answer might have been different. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay, this was the uh, watermelon thing. <laughs> so, would you rather spit or swallow the seeds? I don't like watermelon, so I, I love watermelon. I love watermelon. I would spit. All right. I, I don't. I don't eat seeds, so I would spit the seeds out as well. Mm -hmm. But I love watermelon. If Stel gave right. me a watermelon, I would be a happy camper. I, if Stel gave me a watermelon, I would eat it even if I didn't like it. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. I like it's the best thing in the world. Yes. <laughs> I would be the best actress that day. <laughs> Academy Award is right. to me. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, okay. cool. <laughs> some people like <laughs> some people in the chat saying swallow, especially BB Panda. Okay. <laughs> All right. D don't watermelon seeds grow in your tummy though? No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay. Some people they uh, they want to swallow the entire fruit if it comes from from Stell. Oh my God, guys! <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so that was it. Some really interesting answers there and very entertaining to listen to. Thank you so much for um, <laughs> for answering those questions and I uh, really appreciate you you know, letting me have you guys. I'm so lucky. Um, you guys are the best. I uh, really appreciate that. So before we go, um, if, it, if it's okay, can we react to one SB19 video together? Yes. I, I actually said I have seen this video already, so I'll have you react to it. Okay. Um, it it's the video that they just uploaded earlier, the, okay. the episode one of the Schoolboys content. Okay. So um, let me go ahead and just grab that video real quick. This is our first like reaction with. This is actually our first like collab react oh. reacting with someone else. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, well, <laughs> everyone has their first. Yep. And um, thank you for letting me your first. Oh man, that's so amazing. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, let me just turn off the music. Here we go. Man, you know what's funny? I'm gonna go to like pause on something. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, you tell me. I, I mean, you I just. Like where we paused here. <laughs> like, and you'll we, see me, we, I'll be like... <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll, I'll definitely have a look at you. Uh, <laughs> just let me know if you want to pause. Okay. Right here, we pause at the right moment. That's Ken right there. What do you think of his... He doesn't even have a white undershirt. I mean, <laughs> He's a baddie, and I love it. He's the baddie. <laughs> He's the rebel without okay. a fear, and I'm here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, is he, the class he even president? has the shirt tucked in. So good boy looking. <laughs> he must be class president. Class representative. Yeah. Perfection. He is just perfect. Okay, just look at him. <laughs> Man, and I look on. horrible when I uh, have that tucked in. So I never tuck it in, but yeah, still looks really good. I don't good. tuck in shirts either, but it looks great on him. It mm -hmm. does. His body is just wow. He's built like a Dorito. Broad shoulders. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. I miss my school. Wow. Wow, nice. His skin is glowing, man. Yes. Oh, oh. oh he's really good student. Very good student. Yes. If Stell's the class representative, he's the number one highest student. Yeah. He's even got like the chest strap buckled. All bop. <laughs> All bop. It's like opposite of Pablo. Okay. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine if these dudes are actually your classmates, right? Like, whoa. <laughs> I have failed the class. I'm so distracted. I would get in even more trouble than I did. <laughs> Man. Of course, yours would be the last one. <laughs> Arriving right on the dot. It's fine, we got there before. It's okay. Wait. Oh, okay. You may be seated. Don't need to go. Uh, Tagapuriya. Oh. It's pronounced as dining. Dining. <laughs> Man, that's, just act that's actually a Spanish term for Sunday. And that's oh. also what we call Sunday here in the Philippines, Domingo. So, oh, yes. yeah. Mr. It's his real last name, uh, Robbie Domingo. It's like he, mm. he's, he's been a host. He co-hosted SB19 in a show before, Aja Aja Tayo. So, they're really close. 
at marami tayong lessons for the year 2022. Pero bago tayo magsimula, eh, gusto ko lang mal malaman at uh, mas kapilala kayo ng lubusan. Uh, pwede nyo bang i-introduce yung mga sarili nyo in a very artistic way? Uh, Mauna ka na. Mauna ka na. Pakilala mo ang sarili. I'll be making the first. Yo, man, what's up? I'm Ken. Yo, I'm Ken. Good night. Lubusan, come on. Don't tell me to come on, Ken. That's it? Don't tell me to come on, Ken. <laughs> Oh. So your name is Ken Yo. Yeah. Oh my God. Sir, what other artistic artistic way? Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, uh, Sir, uh, you may stand up. Good morning, sir. Oh. Good morning. Ano po? Good morning. 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 Good Ang edad ko po ay 15. 15? Uh, ako po ay galing sa Malabon na kung saan bumabaha sa konting ambon. Uh, <laughs> Muli ako po si Justin, isang estudyanteng butihin. Huwag niyo po ako bulihin dahil ililibre ko kayo ng pagkain. Uh, <laughs> the rich kid as he is. <laughs> Uh, Samahan niyo ako sa kantin. Very sweet, okay. Okay. Sir, go window. Sir, Sir, Hi classmates. Hi sir. Ako nga pala si Stel. Yes. Sabi na ng aking nalamagulan. Hindi. <laughs> Nagulay ko ang kakaibang kapangyarihan ng pagmamahal na bigay ng aking mga kumulong. Oh. Oh, okay. Emot lamang minsan. <laughs> pero L, lagi niyong tandaan ako yung nandito para sa inyo. Uh, At L, lagi niyong tandaan si Stel na batang naigilo sa karakter. Uh, okay. Tapos nagbigay ng uh, acronym. No pressure bro ha. No pressure. <laughs> no, you didn't, Ken. Come on. <laughs> sorry, sorry. What well, you were saying something? Sorry. Oh, I was just saying. I, Ken was saying they didn't feel his vibe. I felt your vibe, Ken. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> all right so there's uh, i just want to give you a bit of content uh context uh context about it so all bapto means uh it, it sounds like hall dapto and here in the philippines it's what uh criminal people says when they are mugging people so oh. they give you a gun put it at you and then hold up though so oh. that's why oh. he's asking him so that, that's really it <laughs> Hey. <laughs> was Did that was it he did it impromptu, guys. Like, oh, wow. Uh, break it down, yo. Break it down, yo. <laughs> 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 yung student government natin dito, yung student body natin. Right. Ah, sa panahon na to, hindi ako si Sir Ah, Kuya. Ah, Kuya. 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 SB19. Ah, yes, Kuya. Uh, to our dear students, panahon na para sa ating first ever nomination night. Woo! Oh my God. Bigat. Sino binoboto mo? One point para kanino? Outer. Pablo para ng presidente. Ako oh, naman po, one point. Pwede ka, Pwede. Kasi po, nabihan po sa acrostic bomb na kanina. Oh. Piling ko, 
sa dami ng paggawa niya ng acrostic ko, yung plataforma niya, yung yung gagawin. Ooh. Okay? Yeah. Cistel, Cistel. Cistel. That's our present. One point para sa'yo, one point para kay Cistel. Ah, uh, Justin? Kuya, binibigyan ko po ng one point si Ken. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh. Kasi po, ano po. Ken? Okay. President? Interesting. May kita ko po sa kanya po na dahil po may kulay yung buhok niya, parang pinapakita niya po na Everyone merong creative here. freedom yes, ng mga tao. Oh, sir, paguluhin pa natin. Oh, creative freedom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, sir, sige. Okay. Bibigyan ko po ng one point si Mr. Merlin. Aba! <laughs> oh. Josh actually plans to vote himself. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so he's actually saying that vice presidents really don't have any responsibilities, like they're just there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Pablo. Okay. Come on, kid. <laughs> Secretary is the one who's really good in keeping secrets. All right. Actually, is, is that what it is? That's actually what kind of is, right? Kind of, yeah. 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 Exactly.
Ito talaga. Maraming salamat, Teacher Charles. Oh. Ito talaga yun. Okay. Okay, class. Um, gusto ko lang i-remind ko yun, no? Kaya tayo may races para makakain ng matiwasay. Ang mga yan. And during my class, pag nagtuturo ako, ayaw na ayaw ko makakita ng sudyante yung kumakain. Kailangan focus lang. Ama! Kasi pag nakita ko kayo kumakain, nahuli ko kayo. Papasorin ko ito mga problema. Sir! Mahas mga ito, sir! Okay? So they only had 10 minute break and their food is not yet done, right? Oh so they're Did still hungry and then <laughs> they're not allowed to be seen eating. Okay, that's really a tough challenge. Yeah. Do they call like lunch there recess? Actually, yes, in oh. here, yeah, it, at school, yeah, it's it's called recess. Yeah. Because huh. here we have lunch and then we have recess, which is like you go outside oh, yeah. and play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yes. It, yeah, you th that's actually correct. Like recess is like the thing that you do in between and there's <laughs> lunch. Right. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. No eating the way club. Oh. Sir, what are you eating? What are you eating? Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, no. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, Honesty yeah. is the best. Honesty is the best. What? Right? Okay. Tama. Ayos mo yan. Para sa araw na to, ang pag-usapan natin ay fraction. Oh, is it like red light? Yeah. Can you say, ha! 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 <laughs> Still is having fun. Actually, right. Yeah, because you multiply across. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
He is. smart huh <laughs> you know it <laughs> no. i even struggled remembering it when i when i saw that first time we have okay. a saying here called uh please excuse my dear yeah. aunt sally yeah. which oh. it takes the first letter from the pem pem yeah anyways <laughs> really cool okay okay <laughs> Still, come on, man. <laughs> he was shocked. He didn't really know. He just guessed and he was shocked that he was actually correct. Subdivision. <laughs> <laughs> Expectation. 
Done that mentally. Yo, Justin. Taking notes on what? Rice. rice? rice. <laughs> Come oh. on, Stel. Sorry, sorry. I like how Ken is like actually like trying to figure out. Oh, why did he divide first? And like, it's trying oh, yeah. to like actually know. Ken's smart. I feel like he is. Yeah. He, I feel like he's, people. He, yep. Don't think he's as smart as he is for some reason, because he's always quiet. I don't know. I've seen some things, some comments here and there, and I don't know. I just want people. Ken's smart, guys. Okay, he's smart. He <laughs> is smart. Like, he can say things with full of wisdom, actually, mm -hmm. and you just yeah. get surprised. Like yeah. Man, yeah. Serioso, serioso. Well, and that concludes. Yeah, my Sir, Sir, Still the choreographer as he is teaching yeah, right? man. Yeah, and he actually choreographed uh, SLMT, so yeah, mm -hmm. he did it. Yeah. 
Blame back to the teacher, huh? Right. I ko talaga ayun para kasi alam ko na luto na nanay ko sa madarap Oh really? Sir, Okay, okay. Sir, 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 Oh no. Ken's laugh is so beautiful and funny. I love it. And Justin proceeds drawing something. <laughs> You're supposed to clean up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that was a fun little vlog from them. Okay. <laughs> I enjoyed it so much because I really imagined like, you know, what if they were your classmates? And I actually felt like I was there with them. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, can you... It can make you think of, you know, what if it, it, it's the case, right? And mm -hmm. it would have been so cool if they were your classmates and all. So. I would have been laughing well, the whole time. Right. <laughs> I would have been sending detention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was so fun. And, um, yeah, I mean, what, what, what did you think about the whole video? Mm. I liked it. I think it's going to be interesting seeing different sides of them. I just found it so amusing to watch. I was yeah. laughing the whole time. You could tell that they were having so much fun. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like, is when they're having fun the whole time. Yes. Exactly. And Ken's laugh at the end. <laughs> I love his Oh, laugh. man, exactly. Yeah, and his voice, too. His his speaking voice is really, yes. really deep. And uh, it's, just, it's just so good, especially yes. when he sings. Like, when he sings, it's over. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Man, so fun. I really appreciate you guys letting me have you. And it's been a blast. I had so much fun. Thank you for letting me know you more personally. And I hope we stay friends yes. behind, you know, behind all this. Uh, 100%. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys. And you guys are the best. And uh, yeah. Um, Thank you for I having hope this us. Happens. Yes, no, I mean, I'm just so lucky to have you guys. This and uh, it, it definitely was fun. And um yeah, three hours, man. You gave us so much time. 
<laughs> it flew by so fast. Thank you. Shout out to the people who stayed with us. You guys are the best. Subscribe to more and more entertainment. Uh, they have some great, great reaction videos, not just for SB19. And I love their insights too. They really give some really intellectual and uh, some fun feedback too. You guys are the best. So you have anything else to say to the audience before we say goodbye? Um, first, I want to say thank you to Casual Chuck for having us. Um, this is probably one of the most fun lives mm -hmm. we've been in. And Aww. this is actually, I think, the first time anyone's actually asked us about ourselves because normally we're the one Ask asking the questions. So that was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay. But yeah, we had a lot of fun. And um, we'll have to do it again. Yeah, we'll have to do it again. Yeah, <laughs> man. Let's do a part two soon. All yeah. right. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And okay. thank you guys so much for watching. Yes. All right. Cool. Okay, then. Um, Yes, it's a little bit late here, 1 a.m. in the morning, and people are still like watching us. Yeah. You guys are the best. Thank you so much, guys. So uh, I will not take more of your time, Tori and uh, Emmy. Um, I'll talk to the v viewers uh, real quick, and then um, I'll end the stream eventually. But I will not take more of your time. You guys get some breakfast now. Like, come <laughs> on, you, ha you have it. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Okay. All right. So I will not take more of your time. You guys are the best, and yeah, bye Thank for you. now. All right. Bye. I'll send you a DM and uh, thank you guys. All right? Yeah, of thank course. You. Love you. Love I you. love you. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, that was an awesome stream. Wow, that was so, so eye opening, you know, to, to listen to all their stories and the things they've went through. Like, I thought I went through hell, but man, this their story, especially Emmy's story, was. A crazy crazy ride like nobody would have made that like not not many people would made it alive to be honest so um, yeah I just appreciate them for letting me have them they they're the best and uh, be guys before I I have been missing a lot of um, p-pop content guys so before I go I'd love to watch a few things so I have heard oh thank you so much Teja for the 125 bucks oh my lord I miss you Teja I miss you I maybe we can jump on a on a face cam sometimes right this guy let's go to talk sometimes man I, I, I want to do that thank you so much Rio appreciate you guys grabby lumipas ang oras exactly man we've been like doing this bro crazy record-breaking event for our channel we did two lives in a row that's insane i don't even feel tried uh, tired so rio albert is actually right i'm gonna check out g22 right now um i'm i have three things to check out i haven't even seen i haven't even seen what do you call this uh point the pits la luna cover bro i haven't even seen that so yeah let's go ahead and jump right through it i want to watch it uh, good morning to you, Alfredo. Uh, casual chat, friendship react to the new peep up girl group. Yeah, absolutely. I will do that. I will do that. G22, I, I knew them ever since they, even before they debuted. I saw their Twitter when they had, when they still have no followers. Not, I mean, little followers. So I'm definitely checking them out now. Like right now, guys. Let's check it out. I've seen their trailer, the, the member trailers, and oh, my god they look so good their visuals are insane guys so i just hope that they have the dance moves they have the charisma the stage presence and the vocals especially i really do hope so because this group g22 is a sister group of vision am i right guys this is the sister group of vision so the their company have proven that they can make good talents in vision they performed live and they did not dif disappoint us at Wish Wish Ar Awards. So G22, let's check them out right now, guys, and let's see what we think. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Let me just turn off the music I, because I really don't have other time to do reactions, guys. Okay, we, uh, I still have work to do, so I want to watch it now. Yeah, CS Entertainment, it is. Okay. A bit dark, 
It reminds me of La Luna, actually. The 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 mood of the of the of the surroundings. It also remi- uh, reminds me of Twenty One's music video. It hurts. It's a bit dark in the uh, all neutral colors. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. I like the dark. I like the cinematography. I like it. Bro, they're so beautiful. Bro! Especially, oh my god. She is a freaking goddess, bro. Who is this? Goddess right here. Bro, that's a goddess, bro. Holy shit. Oh, man. The, the flute? The flute, bro? It feels like there's a snake coming up. Oi, 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 oi. Wag kayo mag-isip dyan na kung ano-ano. Anong snake yan, alright? Yung snake na ginagano na lumalabas. Hindi yung ano. <laughs> Well, when yun, nag-iisip tayo ng mga kakalatan eh. Ooh, bro! Look at that! Oh my god, their visuals are insane, guys! Oh man, this girl! I'm pausing so much. I'm so, I really apologize, guys. This girl here gives me some Gwen vibes. Gwen from Beanie. She's my bias from Beanie. She gives me some Gwen vibes and I like her already, guys. Oh my god. What's her name? Oh my god, guys. This girl. This girl. Hang on, hang on. This girl right here, guys. Hang on. Which? That's the... uh, uh, Hang on. Where is it? Sorry, guys. This girl gives me some CL vibes. CL from 21. CL vibes right here, this girl. Guys agree, right? Oh my god. Chills. The the harmony in that in that rap verse right there, bro, giving me chills, man. CL vibes, guys. CL vibes. Look at that, bro. She looks like CL from Twenty One, bro. I love it. What? I did not expect that from her. Huh? She's so pretty. But her voice is so badass, bro. What? Her voice is even deep. I, I expected her to sound like, like you know, a, a graceful lady. But this one is a badass one, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a heartbreaker, shoot like a killer. I got them That hook is so catchy. It's like bang, 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 and the oh, 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 that is so sick, guys. I love this group already. What a debut! Baby, take your chances. You pay the price. We the female of the We raise the stakes. We will raise them higher. Ooh, the power of that voice. We will raise <laughs> <laughs> Grabe. What? The power in their voice, guys. They have like a, a diva type of voice. Like I'm hearing some Fort Impact vibes here by the way they sing. Like there's some power in their voice, bro. Holy shit, bro. Baby, take your chances. You pay the price. We the female of Woo! 
that shot right there is so beautiful and just so badass, guys. Like this shot, oh my god, that is perfect, man. I think I'm gonna be mahal apat, guys. I don't have a bias. They're all standing out to me, like equally, bro. Oh, that is insanely hot, bro. Why? Oh, why would you do that to the floor, ladies? Why? Oh my lord. Oh my god. Malabas yung pagkaano natin eh. Man, I'm a man, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. These girls are attractive as heck, man. The sex appeal is there too. Holy shit! That is sick, bro. Yo, what she did there was like, whoa. That is sick, bro. Yo. Yo, that's insane. Put your name in, bold name target. We always ready for the lights, camera action. Cause I'm just getting ready, 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 ready for that. Bang, 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 bang. You do that to me <laughs> girls wow whoa whoa there you gotta relax girls oh my god it's getting hot in here holy moly moly yo That's freaking hot, guys. Like, girls in the rain. Oh, my God. I officially hereby say that it's raining girls, bro. <laughs> bro. God damn. Holy crap. The visuals. The talent, the dancing, they got everything, guys. Holy crap, bro. What a come up, bro. Look at that visuals, guys. That's perfect, bro. Wala akong masabi. Mahal apat, guys. Walang bias. I don't have a bias. I don't. I just can't pick. Bro, mahal apat. First time I've seen a group that I couldn't decide who my bias is. And this is it. G22, bro. Okay? If uh, if the song called G6, like a G6, is fire, this G22 is a freaking explosion. You know what I mean, guys, right? Holy shit. Grabe. Grabe naman yung visuals na yun, guys. That is so crazy, man. It's so crazy. The potential is up there. Look at the views. 50k. This was just uploaded two days ago. 5.5k subs? Nah, they deserve more. They deserve more, guys. I can't wait to see them live. Holy crap. Oh my god, G22, y'all, coming at you. I didn't see that coming, for sure. Okay, that was my reaction to G22, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So, what else? Um, let's see here. I, I think I still missed something. Um, is that what it, is that everything? <laughs> 
A lot of you guys are telling me in the chat to relax. I cannot relax, guys. When it, especially when I see a bunch of attractive girls like that dancing together, singing a badass song. Man, bro, I can't stop myself. It's wow. So, uh, Berlin said Althea, Bianca, AJ, Jazz are their names. You know what? Let me. I want to get reminded with their with their group. Hang on, guys. I want to get reminded. Let me just go on and rewatch the 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 group introductions guys give me a few sec let's see where is it okay here hey aj Woo! yo The bangs look really good on her, guys. A lot of ladies who would never choose this type of bangs because it's just awkward, but on her, it's perfect. G22. Oh. Sick, bro. Holy moly. Oh, man. Let's check the other one. I mean, Jazz, that is an insane visual. The spark. I mean, look at that, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh, don't you do that on your hips, girl. Don't you do that on your hips, girl. Oh my god. Yo. Oh, don't start making out with yourself, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! G22. Okay. G22. <laughs> oh, Lord. These girls need to relax, guys. Oh my god. Why would you put some... Ba bakit may mga, uh, may mga garter ng brief dito? <laughs> some brief garters, guys, on her chest. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh god what's the name of their fandom guys what's the name of their fandom because i'm officially one bro bianca yo i love her foxy eyes guys mo The, the spandex that spandex is here oh lord <laughs> G22 oh god what the hell all right, I am a bullet for sure. I am a bullet, guys. All right, next one. I'll fail. Bro, their visuals are insane. Like all of them, guys. Holy crap, guys. Oh my lord. Grab. Ooh, the goddess oh my god look at that beauty guy so perfect oh my god G22 ay, ay, ay. G G22 Mamma mia Dios mio <laughs> Mama Sita! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what's this? 
Oh, look at that, bro. They have definitely prepared. Look at this visual. Oh my god. Yo, girls, this girls needs to relax, man. Why would you do that to me, girl? Did you just chat? Did you just touch my face? Oh my god, that hair flip right there. Oh lord. G22. That's hot as F, guys. Oh my god, that is crazy. That is so crazy. That is so crazy, guys. Oh my god. This is insane. That's it. That's all about it. Okay. Alright. Yun lang naman yung gusto kong gawin, guys. Gusto ko lang mag-catch up dun sa G22 because I really missed their debut. Oh my god. Thank you guys for staying with me. I think that's about it. We'll wrap up the stream. I'll go ahead and send Emmy and Tori a DM to thank them for their time. They're, they've definitely been awesome for us. They shared their life and uh, they're just such inspiration, guys. So thank you guys for staying with me. You guys are the best. I love you. Casuals, you guys are the best. Um, I hope to meet you soon. Um, I hope we get to go to the Peep Up Con, guys, right? That would be awesome if we can go together. Um, I hope the ticket... The tickets are cheaper or something that we can afford so that we can maybe you know treat you guys right so i hope you know we can go because i missed my casuals family already so okay guys i will not take more of your time um let's go ahead and take a rest it's already 1 a.m i love you guys you guys are the best don't forget to smash that like button because you know what i like on my side is the algorithm talk to you in the next one peace out guys miss you to job you guys are the best. Kuya Chuck, saan, saan yung uwi mo? Huh? Saan ako uwi? Sa bahay. Andito ako sa bahay. <laughs> Alright guys. Bye-bye. Race car by, Cal by Calista? Calista? What's that? A girl group? Oh. Okay. Just a lyric video. You know what, guys? Come on, come on. Why not? Why not? Let's go ahead and hear it. Sige na, mag-goodbye na sana ako. Si Berlin naman. Nanggigil pa tuloy ako. Alright, alright, alright. Let's watch it. The hell, Berlin? <laughs> Na-joke lang. Pag ganito, nanggigigil ako. Hindi ako makatulog pag ganito eh. Lyric video. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Bro, that beat is disgusting. Man, I, I love the mosquito sound in the background. It reminds me of a little bit of Girls' Generation. I got a boy. You, you guys have that vibes? Whoa, whoa there. They're taking back the GG gaze. You hear that? The way they do their thing, their music, sounds a lot like GG, guys. Holy crap. Girls' generation, bro. Bro, I imagine when you sing this live with the audience, 
there's so much fan chant fan chant potential here it's the the hook sounds really fun to to sing along with fans you know with you like 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 SB19's Bazinga, it's really fun to say when you're on a concert or on a performance live. When you sing their hook, it's gonna be really fun. Yeah? Yeah? Uh huh. Rear view. Okay. Watch me broom, broom, broom. Stay ready, keep the clutch game nice. Too high, too high, no, we'll leave them all nice. Maserati, when I hit the curve, see me coming and I'm making nervous. Think I've been leaving swerving. Hey, we're getting this one. Single moment, is it never there? Straight to the top end, coming to fight. Yo. Live life in the fast lane. I'll just burn a hundred in the gas tank. We pay for keeps in the cash game. And we ain't stopping till you know I name. Switch lanes, come and take a flicker runway. Go way too fast on a one way. Who wants shots? So it's battle to the metal, baby. Any given Sunday. Why? Eat the top on the track. People this game on my back. Keep taking over the care where you at. Come this the future. We coming upstairs. Yeah. Oh! Bro! The bars are on fire. Oh, that's brick. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. That is sick. I love the beat. I really love the beat, guys. Callista. Yo. All right. That's something really good to look forward to. So, you guys. You guys said there's a trailer for their thing, right? Let's go and check that out. Let's check that out, guys. 1K subs. That's about to be a million, I'm sure. Okay. MV teaser. Ooh. Okay, let me check their visuals. Oh, yo, yo, yo! Okay! Okay, girls! Whoa, some race cars! They're literally in a racetrack! Oh, the colors! Oh my god, their visuals are also on fire! Okay! Okay! Oh! Why would you do that to me? Uh, why would you do that hair? Why would you do that hair, girl? Oh my god. Yo, the pink hair on her is so perfect. Yo. Holy. Yo. Oh, I like this girl. I like this girl. There's some swag on her. There's some swag going on. Yo, she's actually driving. Yo! I love her jawline. That's really cool. Yo! Okay! Okay! I gotcha! I gotcha! Okay! I'll make a reaction right away when you drop your music video, girls. Oh my god. So you're saying there's a KFC commercial of SB19? Huh? Let's watch it. Let's watch it. 
Is this the one? SB19. Sorry, guys. Last one before Bago Matulog. One year ago, guys. It's nothing. It was one year ago. What you doing, guys? I don't see it. No? This is like the what era. Look at their hair. Very what era. I'll watch it anyway. SB10? Ito, hindi! <laughs> KFC 59 pesos original recipe chicken chops. Chicken na dibitin! I'm gonna have some chicken. Woo! I was not ready. I was not ready. I was not ready for that. What the heck? What? It's really finger licking girl. 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 I can hear each of the voices. Voices. Guys, whoa. It's really finger licking girl. It's really finger licking girl. Bro, okay. Bitin? Ito, hindi. Bitin talaga. KFC 59 pesos original recipe chicken chops. Chicken na di bitin. It's really finger licking girl. Grabe. Iba. Iba talaga. You know what happens to me when I check out peep up, um, peep up things, peep up, you know, content. Um, I get amazed. I get amazed. But when I come right back to SB19, it, it always, they always have the habit to make me realize that hey let me just remind you that we are the best <laughs> that's what always happens to me and every time i come back to sp19 i would say yeah they're the best man no one's even close <laughs> guys right you guys agree right so that should be it that's about it um i will not take more of a time you guys are the best i love you guys um i can't believe i've said goodbye to you like 10 times already so it really is a wrap now goodbye guys i love you talk to you soon and peace out thank you for subscribing more sb19 content soon and uh, reactions and uh yeah i haven't even started with my sb19 story yet so that's my next project i hope you like it um yeah love you guys love you thank you for the support um, SB19 sa kalam guys and uh, yeah 18 fam I love you guys bye for now good night have some rest I'm about to have some good meal alright bye